and we are live! Here we go, dudes! Dudes! We got Felix here, Gen Tactics, Ionic Hoverfish, uh, there was Madman, just me, my dudes! Please don't, how's everyone doing? Hopefully you all are having an absolutely fantastic Saturday. Uh, today, we're gonna have a stream celebrating the big old 15k! The big 15k! And I thought it would be fun to celebrate with you dudes. Watch it with your cat, watch it with your dog, pets, man, pets. The best. I got my own pets here. Oh, no bullets. Oh, uh, give me two seconds, pets. <laughs> what up, Lolix? Welcome, man. Right, yes, you were getting foods. Hopefully you got good foods, dude. So yeah, how's everyone doing? How's everyone enjoying the base assault update so far? Hey. <laughs> Seekers go beep beep. Yeah, man. Seekers with the freaking beep boop, dude. Let's kill these tests, dude. Get him out of there. So, we have like one mission in this game left to complete. I'm pretty sure it's like the last mission. And I think it's literally just going up this lighthouse. So, we are going to complete. The final mission! And then I have a whole bunch of collectibles to gather up. So, we're gonna have a real meaty stream here. Uh, so, uh, this guy, this guy, he's chilling. He's got, he's got his friends with him. Um, mashed potatoes, rice. Uh, uh, this guy. That guy's angry. He's mad, dude! Whoa! Alright. Uh, let's take this. Leave the silencer. And Wilson, good old Wilson. <laughs> Woo, 50k subs. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you very much, man. Hey, Michael, welcome to the stream, dude. Getting bullied by Soviets. Oh, man, dudes, I got tips tricks. I got tips and tricks. I got them all. I got them all. Just, just watch the video. I give them all. Uh, but actually, you know what? I could probably do for doing even more tips and tricks because there's a lot that I've figured out along the way here. So, uh, completing the last mission. No fireworks, no celebrations. We should make our own. Um, I should load my guns. <laughs> I grabbed all these bullets and I didn't even load them. What the heck, dude? What the heck? Hey, Tenerbris, just started playing and your best start video has been a lifesaver. Currently doing the bike ride part. Thanks so much for the tips. Dude, I am super happy to help and enjoy the five mile bike ride, dude. It is grueling. And nowadays it's even more intense to go through. Uh, but we need fireworks. We need to celebrate here. That was the final, the final freaking mission of the whole game. We beat the game, dudes. We finally beat the game. It only took me three years. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. <laughs> I got sidetracked. <laughs> uh, let's enjoy this. Oh, no. Field of view. It's real nice, man. It's real nice. <laughs> Just gonna tell you your recent sin. It's been a while since I played GZ. It's been too long. Also got a go suit. Dude, go off and play Generation Zero. Take the opportunity, man. Massive update just happened. Tons of new things to get into. Uh, new places to explore. New Phoenix bases to assault. Uh, let's talk about that for a minute. So I put out a video talking about how base assaults right now are kind of buggy. Uh, kind of not working super great. Uh, where it's, it's just impossible seemingly to spawn a phoenix base it's it's like the wildest rng uh but from the sounds of it luckily enough a few players uh have been able to get extra bases so it doesn't seem like the base system is entirely broken but it seems like the rng could definitely be tweaked in our favor uh to make this something that we can actually really like engage with and stuff um so Collectibles, my dudes. Uh, let's see which collectible we should start with. Probably the Dalahast would be the best. Uh, happy you got another base to spawn today. Now you're going to keep it for a while. Definitely. Dudes, if you get Phoenix bases to spawn in, 
keep them farm them up to the max level and grind up to the max level i'm gonna have a video out uh probably either tomorrow or monday on uh how to grind experience in the forest region and get infinite experience uh in that region so that's going to be coming very very soon um let's open up the collectibles on my phone here so that that way i could go about this quickly and efficiently with you dudes here time to round up some horses yeah dude yeah wooden horses Let's see here. Wiki. Good old GZ Wiki. Um, yeah, and I think we're just going to go through them by the list here. Probably. Tallahast locations. There we go. Beauty, beauty. Thank you very much, Mr. Boom. Thank you very much. Uh, Thomas Weave as well. Cheers, my dudes. I really appreciate that. I literally only got here because of your dude's support. And I really, seriously, bottom of my heart, thank you so much, my dudes. Um, Noodle Bros, let's go, Sirto. Let's go, dude. Have I seen any war figurines? I had a video on that, Felix. Uh, the war figurines are not currently in the game, but they could be coming very soon. We've got some spicy locations uh, that they could absolutely be coming to. Uh, in the north coast. Uh, so we're going for the blue Dallow horse. Whoa, what is the ad on this website? What the heck? Um, <laughs> all right, blue Dallow horse. Let's go, dude. 837, 2025. Hey, just a few years from now. Uh, 837 ballpark down here. 2025 over here. Uh, so it's going to be like ballpark somewhere around this area it says collectibles one out of one there but that's 985 let's let's fast travel to the location and get closer to the spot thank you very much slowfish you're a legend man you're a legend hey tristan welcome to the stream man 15k uh i couldn't even get there congrats oh uh, thank you so much dude it's been a journey. It's been a journey. Raid Shadow Legends ad. I, yeah, man. It was something like that. It just covered the whole screen and it's like, well, I'm I'm trying to read this wiki. What the heck? Uh, have you seen the Soviet camp uh, marker near the structure in the north coast? Yeah, dude. Mr. Boom. Yes. So that pops up for console players, but it doesn't seem to pop up for PC players, or at least it didn't pop up for me. But this unmarked Soviet location is very, very spicy. We do know that the Soviets pretty much have this entire northern, uh, like, hemisphere here just locked off. Uh, they, they very much are controlling this area, uh, which actually, in the video, we were talking about brand new control points, and I was saying that I want new control points in the marshlands, and that's because of the Soviets, dudes. I think that Soviet control points would be super interesting as our second set of control points. Because then we would get like a, a whole visual, a whole brand new visual palette to get into. Yo, Depug, you made it! Welcome, dude! Judging by the icon, uh, the war figurines are related to the Soviets. You think so? Yeah! I, I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning to that end too, but I still have hopes for the Swedish military. I still have big hopes that the Swedish military will pop into the game. So, we are fast traveled at this point. Um, what are the coordinates again? 837, 2025. Let's find the 2025 first. Uh, 837. There we go. And 837 down here. Down. Hmm. Coordinates, dude. Spicy. Real spicy. Um, let's see here. I normally go by the collectibles thing, but my collectibles have all been filled up for the longest time. Dude. Specifically, Soviet base assaults would be awesome. Yes, they would. I really think that they would. Uh, fighting against the Soviet machines, especially against, uh, like, the wolves and stuff, they would be crazy to take on. If there was, like, three wolves in a Soviet base or something, that would be intense, man. 
All those Gatling guns focused on you? Hey, Tenebris, I just saw your other video. I don't know if I'm super lucky, but you got a second base to spawn not too long ago. Rowan, you might just potentially be super lucky because RNG with this is very, very harsh. It's very, very harsh. I've grinded for ages, man. I reduced my score down to zero and I'm all the way back up to like 1300 over the span of the night. Nada. Zilch, man. It hurts. It hurts the soul. <laughs> Is tar ammo good? It is actually uh, toasted toast. Um, the side effect of lighting yourself on fire is a pretty crummy side effect, but when you're utilizing something like a Magnus with tar ammo, it is very, very useful. Uh, as well, using weapons and semi-auto and using the tar ammo is a very, very efficient method of using that ammunition. No, you are not, Axolotl. Welcome to the stream, dude. We are currently uh, trying to figure out where this collectible's at. I might as well just read the thing. South Coast Asso. Okay, all right, there we go. That would probably help. Uh, Asso's right there, so let's fast travel to this boyo. Yeah. All the way f uh, from uh, level zero all the way to 15, but zero basis. That is the scenario for so many of us, Mr. Boom. You play on PC, and that's the big thing too, Rowan. A lot of the co uh, uh, comments I've seen so far of players that have gotten other bases were on console. So it's great to have some confirmation of PC players as well. And I think that the forum post got updated from the last time I looked at it too. Uh, so I need to read that to see if anyone's having better luck out there. Which I really seriously hope you dudes are having better luck than I am. Uh, I'm going to have a video on the best base locations probably Monday, uh, and I'm going to really, really get wily on it to make sure that I can get that video together. Uh, so it's like either I'm spawning the base in this stream or I'm going to figure out a sneaky other method of seeing all the base locations here so that that way I can kind of put them together in a bit of a tier list for you dudes and stuff. There we go. Zero out of two. So actually we could... Try to pick up both things here in Asso. Just kind of wander around Asso for a minute. Those are some real hidden bases, yeah, dude. <laughs> Just beat the Reaper today and got a couple of the Exoware. First Reaper ever fought. Dude, you rando. Congrats, man. The uh, Foa Exosuit is one of my favorite outfits in the game. It is such a cool outfit. Just like the 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 high sci-fi concept uh, outfits in this game are are definitely my favorites. The full outfit and the phoenix outfit are just the coolest, man. Just the coolest. I hope we'll get more in the future. You play on PS5, dude. How do you find it on PS5? I know a lot of uh, PS5 players are asking for uh, kind of like next-gen graphics update, and I am super behind that. I would love a next-gen uh, graphics update for PC, too. It would be super good. My dudes, 20 likes. Thank you so much. Backpack upgrades yet? We need them. We need backpacks in the first place. It would be so good, man, to expand our inventory and our, craft our carrying capacity and stuff. Maybe not have to spec so much into uh, the skill uh, the skill tree for carry capacity. Because if you think about it, that's four wasted skills that you could put into something else if we had utility items that maybe weren't as powerful as the skill, but still gave us, like, the opportunity. Let's open this back up. It was behind something. Behind a large white warehouse inside the phone booth. Oh, buddy, phone booths. Actually, legend in the community, uh, Gisbert, Gisbert on the forums. I never know how to pronounce his name. Because, no, Gisbert? Because Swedish. It would be Yisbert. Um, but he he's collecting all the locations of, like, phone booths across the map. And I think that that's so cool. <laughs> oh, hey, look at it. Boom. Uh, let's close that. <laughs> Cheers, Toasted. 
Your friend got a max level Phoenix base and it was extremely it was an extremely tough fight. Constant rush of runners and hunters along with at least 15 turrets. It was crazy. Dude, my dudes. All right, all right. Here's a here's a thing that will be coming hopefully soon at some point. Um I think that Phoenix bases and control points of Phoenix bases will be farming locations. I think we could turn them into, like, some sort of a reliable machine farm, which that would be really crazy. So, that's going to be coming very, very soon. The moment I can get this freaking base to spawn. I feel like such a dingus, man. I feel like such a dingus. The moment that base spawned, I was like, yeah, destruction time. I've been waiting. <laughs> and it, it, the, the real world was like, no. <laughs> Let's see where our next Dell is at. Uh, I believe it'll be the green one. Let's see here. It will be! Uh, South Coast region, Silovic. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Lysium. Which one's Silovic? You're Silovic. Posted a pic of a map at one of the hovercrafts and it had marked locations in the middle of the o ocean. I'm gonna have to peek that. Oh, dudes, all right. Uh, let's look off in this direction because that way you guys will not get crazy blinking uh, structures and stuff. That has piqued my curiosity, Mr. Boom. Reddit. Uh, the Generation Zero Reddit went dead for a long time, actually, so... Or not dead, but, like, its activity slowed very, very much. <laughs> Somebody posted up a picture of just a pile of seekies. That's beautiful. Here, let's scroll through it together, my dudes. Let's, let's scroll through it together, actually. Boom. Hopefully, hopefully y'all can see that. Oh! Oh! Interesting. Where the heck is that? Oh, it's this one. Anya. Right? I, I figured that would be Anya. Yeah, that's Anya. So what that is, my dudes, uh, I could explain that one right away. Oh, y'all are seeing the desktop. Whoa! Save that. Actually, you're going to see it again. Whoa! Again, <laughs> game catcher. There we go. Um, uh, and also, apologies. I'm totally missing chat here as I go along. But uh, this guy. This guy is super interesting. Let's go on over. Let's wander on over and take a, take a sidestep from our Dalla collections here. And also get back to chat. Reaper next to a level 4 Phoenix base. Dude, crafting ammo intensifies. Seriously. Bring your shock rounds if you got them, Felix. Good couple thousand. <laughs> From what you could tell, the runner spawner did not stop until you destroyed it and it just kept going. Same. That's that's what I was thinking too. I did destroy them kind of quickly because I was just like in, in full destructo mode or something. But um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think that they just keep going and they don't seem to stop or have like a limit on them. And that's going to be really awesome because uh, harvester farming has been very, very much cut down. And so having a new method of farming, reliable machines, is going to be massive, dudes. Steer into the void of the desktop. Yeah, dudes. I mean, like, come on, Denebris Infinite. I, I live up to it, even in my desktop. <laughs> the legend that is DJ Dribbles. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, my dude. Hopefully you're having a fantastic Tuesday, man. Have you gotten a chance to dig into this update? You're the pile of seekles, seeker, seekles, <laughs> seek lottles. Uh, you're the pile of seekers, axolotl. Oh, that's a beautiful picture, man. Yeah, seeker spawn rates these days. They're ridiculous. Have a sip of our soda, good old soda. And let's get off to that, um, that spot because I'd like to talk about it when we're there. Just got your second base to spawn. It's so hard for you to get one to spawn. I really... I'll make a GoFundMe petition to buy pizza for the developer team 
if they um <laughs> reduce the spawn rate. <laughs> I realized how ridiculous that idea was as I said it, but still <laughs> Buy them a pizza party. Please re please increase Phoenix based spawn rates <laughs> No one can say no to pizza, right? <laughs> a thousand landmines will that come in handy it might actually Especially for the Reaper you can get the Reaper to step all up on them Real easy. You haven't. You woke up and had to re-download the game. Oh, I've heard of a couple people having to re-download the game. Uh, doing that now. Are the new missions in the update? They are, dude. And they start just at the bottom of... Um, the bottom of the marshlands here. Uh, so if you've got Lilla Hammerness, uh, just fast travel here and you can get started right at this location. Just at the bottom there. Two new side missions, yes! And they're they're real awesome. I honestly, I was not paying enough attention because I just dove into the update. But it's really cool. Like when you drop off the um, all of the information to the resistance and stuff, a weapon pops up nearby. And I think that that's really cool that it's like, you know, a reward for uh, handing in the mission. And that's something that we haven't actually seen in the game. Something that I should probably talk on. <laughs> also, we're running like way too far along the way here. Let's get back going on down. Going on down this way. But right, the marshlands, dudes. Would this not be a beautiful, beautiful spot to build a base? Come on, man. <laughs> and then maybe we could finally get water machines that uh, like only attack your base, only attack coastal bases or something. Who knows? He's gonna thermobaric the shit out of the base, huh, dude? <laughs> Just nuke his own base? That's gonna actually probably happen. The moment he does- the moment he rips off one of those explodey farts, we've all had him, you know? But the moment he lets off one of those real gnarly ones, the whole base is just gonna crumple around him. <laughs> So, this location is real spicy, dudes. Probably one of the spiciest Soviet landing bases so far. The spot is pretty freaking awesome. So, it's essentially a manual assembly line of, uh, of the Lynxes and stuff. And then also you got a couple deactivated uh, boyos over here, too. Which is really cool, you know? The fact that they were, like, actually loading them up and stuff. I think it's cool. The lure. Oh, here's the map you were talking about. Buddy bro, look at that. It's fate. Uh, let's get a good view on this. Okay. Okay. All right. Archipelago? Soviets are going archipelago. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, let's look at this real, real hard here for a second. There we go. And, uh, oh, dude, Michael, welcome to the stream, dude, coffee, cheers. I'm going to make a coffee, probably, uh, after our first intermission. I think we're going to go for a real long time here today, my dudes. It's going to be a real meaty stream, real meaty hangout stream. So, Boyo was, like, right here? Go for the noob spawn kills, that's what they're doing! That's absolutely what they're doing. Spawn killing the new players. Brutal. Savage. How are new players going to deal with the freaking minigun, man? <laughs> That's mental. I'm going to have to figure out a new best start video that just, like, <laughs> avoids everything. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't look like anything's there yet, but let's get closer. You never know. Sometimes the Lynx can't melee. You made an army of them. Nice, dude. That's funny. Maybe they just don't have the saw blade attachment or something. 
Maybe the Soviets were bombing Moscow. No, we do actually find that out, Felix, in Phoenix Rising. If you haven't played the DLC, highly, highly advise it. Uh, more narrative-driven, character-driven DLC than Alpine Unrest, uh, but a fantastic addition to the game. Super spicy. You go to crazy locations and... Phoenix does some crazy stuff. I don't want to spoil it. Wait, no way. Was that a... What color? No, yeah, a prototype. Okay. Alright, so... As anticipated, nothing yet, but man, that my map is freaking spicy, man. Also, this view of Monster Island here, real nice. Let's take a schmeckle here. Mysterious spot. Let's see that inventory stash. Sure, man, if you want to see, we could go off and take a peek. Uh, most of my inventory is on my mule, though. On the ocean, are Russians bringing in battleships, you think, eh? Battleships would be crazy. Because, like, right now, the hover ships and stuff, like, yeah, but battleships would be crazy. That would be stepping things up in a very radical direction. Very radical direction. 32 ACP ought to do it. There we go. <laughs> wonder when those two big base islands uh, will become DLC areas. DJ Dribbles. One second. Burp. Ugh. Um, DJ Dribbles, my dude, they have roads. <laughs> As of our latest update, they have roads on them. It's the hypest addition to these islands since we got this air airfield down here. It's so spicy. Also, this, this uh, broken road is like completely missing, but it's very, very spicy, man. Oh, I really hope we'll get there soon. I really hope we'll get there soon, dude. I'm doing excellent, Conrad. How are you doing? How's everyone doing? Hopefully y'all are having a fantastic Saturday here. We're going to continue on our Dalla hunt here. Uh, let's continue going for that green boy. Oh, the green horse. Is the green horse the best horse? I don't know. You let me know. Uh, it was Silovic. Yes. Yes. There we go. Because YouTube hates me, dude. That's what's going on, Tyler. But welcome to the stream. I'm so glad that you were able to catch it still, man. Friggin' YouTube. It's like, nah, dude. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I could pre-stream for an hour and it's like, nah, man. <laughs> Playing Generation Zero while watching it. Dude, very nice. Very nice. I'll pray to Iron Jesus for you so that hopefully you can get some fat loot. Are you looking for anything specific off of that rival? They had roads before the update. Was it landfall that they added roads? Artillery may be before airstrikes since there's an artillery cannon in Phoenix Rising. Yeah, dude. We are looking for... Uh... Uh... Kunsam. Let's find ourselves this Kunsam. You're usually pretty easy to spot. Oh, has it actually been there for a while? Look at that. Look at that. You play the game for too long. That'll be my excuse. That'll be my excuse. <laughs> New big rocks to the map. They have, actually. That's something as of uh, landfall. And they're also kind of hard to traverse. Uh... It would be nice if you could climb and, like, clamber all over the rocks and stuff, but I do wonder if jump boost and, uh, uh, med slumps will possibly be the answer. On the side porch. Well, hey, that looks like a side porch to me. This side porch. There we go. Green Dalla Horse. NATO is cannon. Yeah, man. Uh, NATO NATO is full cannon uh, to the world of Generation Zero. And it would be really spicy to see NATO come into the game in some way, shape, or form. Maybe come in with their own machines or something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that NATO should come in with machines? Or do you think NATO should be boots on the ground? NATO dropships. Events. Spicy. 
worth getting to use, or is the bonus not that worth hunting them down? There are a few Urando that are useful, and there are a few that I believe do not work, but we could actually even test here in the stream, because uh, I haven't tested as of the base assault update. Um, but basically, bullet damage reduction, as far as I know, does not work. Jump boost is amazing. Padded shoes, amazing. Those two are ones that you really want to get. Stealth, if you like stealth, it actually does play a benefit and, and add a benefit, especially to non-stealth builds and giving them the opportunity to do stealth. Gonna fight YouTube. Fisticuffs! <laughs> you want both! Boots on the ground and machines. Depart! Coming in with a wombo combo. I dig it. I, I dig it. I dig it. We were going off for another Dalla too. So let's let's get sorted on which Dalla after the orange. The pink Dalla. The worst Dalla. Doesn't work. No, Madman. Uh my latest testing uh it did not work. But let's do it. Let's go off and do the test here. I'll show you guys the test. It's a real simple one. Basically, I just asked the machines to shoot me really politely. Uh and sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're like, I don't know, man. I'm trying to do the pacifist run. You could shoot me, I guess, but... <laughs> uh, and then we need the shirt uh, for the full 20% uh, 20, 20 Oh, sure was it. It was one of the white ones. There we go. Yeah. Feels good, man. Feels safe and protected. Um, let's run on over here, if it'll let me. <laughs> let's run on over here and ask this hunter to politely shoot me. Not in the face, because that's the only part of me that isn't, like, like, you know, anywhere beneath the neck and not in the hands is A-OK, -okay, dude. <laughs> With health ammo, there we go. <laughs> Cheers. Want a burger? Oh, dudes, let's not talk about food. Whoa. <laughs> Be talking about food for, for days. Food streams. The amount of markers. I know, man, I know. I do love the map filtering options. We're going to be talking about that one soon, too. So much to talk about, dudes. Still working on that cloning machine. Uh... Progress is minimal, uh, but I'm working on it. <laughs> so far, my attempts to clone spaghetti to make more spaghetti so that I can have infinite spaghetti have resulted in failures. Um, what comes out is it's like lasagnas, ravioli and stuff, and it's just not another spaghetti, right? And like, if I clone myself and I was ravioli, then I don't know. Would I eat me? Would that be cannibalism if I ate meat? If I was ravioli? I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's heal. <laughs> so the thing about this test, the thing about this test is you need 100% health. Because the way health works in Generation Zero is the further you get down in percentage, the meatier that percentage is. Um, so... Oh, dude, we wound up at 69 health. Nice. Um, uh, the the higher your health is, the kind of less, the, the kind of more real your health is. That doesn't make sense. The thinner your health is. And then, then the more you go down, the wider it gets. That makes, that makes more sense. Mugbang videos. Let's go. <laughs> I could start off with Swedish foods and that would be it. That would be it. <laughs> Italy invasion. Yes! <laughs> the invasion we didn't know we needed. <laughs> Gnome pods? CC. Right. They're fun, too. I really like the gnome pods. I guess we should heal. We are at the magic number, but let's heal. Uh, gnome pods. They're actually super fun and really, really useful. Unlike your normal ticks, uh, the machines will go after gnome pods far more aggressively. So the gnome pods almost work kind of like a distraction as well as a secondary offense. The only problem is, is obtaining them. It's a nightmare. It's a pain in the ass.
Did I become a ravioli or get turned into a ravioli? I'm pretty sure I become a ravioli. Yeah. I I have become ravioli destroyer of worlds. Yes. <laughs> that was my first phrase too and that was it. All right, hello friend. What are you looking at? Yeah, I don't know either. All right, so Two bullets brought us down to 77. If they fix this, if they fix this, that would be so cool. That would just be the that would just be the GZ team being homies as always. That would be very nice. All right, let's go with the resistance fighter set because that's easy to just just slap on. I actually, I much prefer, I don't know about you dudes, but I much prefer the clothing that doesn't have, like, a lot of options. Even though I do like the options, but I find that sometimes the options are a little bit superfluous. Uh, and then we need the shoes, yes. There we go, ski boots. To complete the look. No, actually, no. No. It feels wrong. It feels wrong. There we go. Completed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait! I must heal! Heal the... Heal the... Health. Alright, there we go. Alright, dude. Shoot me twice. No, yeah, so it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> it might have been hard to catch there. Two bullets brought me down to 77. So it's still... It's still not working, sadly. Um, but hopefully in the future. Because that will be a real huge benefit to players. I really think that Gorilla would be a totally different experience if we had that bullet damage reduction, like, fully working. Rip. Yeah, yeah, very much. Rip and, rip and pepperonis for that one, sadly. And they aren't even, like, tasty pepperonis. <laughs> Have you ever had a not-tasty pepperoni? I don't know what that means. Uh... <laughs> Let's, let's go back to... I really actually... I'm kind of digging this, like, agent outfit that I came up with. It's, it's just the Miami suit, but... I always really like the Mi Miami suit. The Miami suit. It's good. It's good. Um... Yeah. And then the pants. Miami. There we go. I forgot what I was wearing. Something like that. We'll go with it. Can you eat a tank? That is a very good question. Um, I think if you microwave it for long enough on the high enough setting, you could probably break into that guy with a knife and fork. I think so. Yo, burger player, burger man, dude, man. Welcome to the street. How's it going, man? <laughs> Three people left the stream to go try that. <laughs> What would the uh, five fifth or what would the AG five get if it was an experimental? That is a very good. Um, that is a very good question, man. I I very much like the idea of increasing five fifty six's damage output, just raw increasing that damage output. So maybe something like its experimental version shoots slower. And maybe less accurately, but has like some sort of a linear accelerator similar to maybe what the PVG has, but not to the same extreme degree uh, that increases bullet velocity uh, and just turns it into, you know, something that really shreds through machines. I think that that would be an awesome experimental AG5 myself. Either that or laser beams. But, I mean, like, you know, <laughs> you, can't, you can't have your cake and eat your laser beams or something like that, right? How long have I been playing Generation Zero? Since the very first day, multi, my dude. Um, so, yeah. Uh, three years? Three years now? How many years has it been? <laughs> it's all a blur. Uh, let's open this up. We're going for the pink Dalla next. Wrapping up all our collectibles here, my dudes. Negative 258. No description. Uh-oh. Um, negative 258. By 1510. We're actually, like, kind of ballpark close. So it's kind of in this area. Ah, skog skull. Yes. Let's go there. 
Imagine a hunger update. It would be extra hard, wouldn't it? Totally normal. Yeah, that's a question. Survival features. What do you guys feel on them? Do you think Generation Zero needs them or not? For me, I would love a separate survival mode always. I, I think that a survival mode adds a ton to a game. I don't know about the base game itself. Though, I do think it would be awesome as a cultural thing uh, to be able to learn more about, like, S Sweden's foods. It's just, it would be, like, such a, like, a side kind of thing, but it would just be a nice touch of bringing in a little bit more Sweden into the game. <laughs> Send Sweden, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but I think it would be good. Your teeth hurt? Whoa! Drinking too much soda. Seen the cabin just north of the landing port, Boris? There's a weird door. Ooh, that's spicy. Let's go pick up our pink Dalla, and then let's go off landing site Boris. Which one is that one? That's the that's the OG one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I already know. Survival mode would be dope, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, dude? I think it would be really cool. Even if it was just like, you know eat, sleep, and drink type survival, I still think that it would be an interesting extra layer. And I, I just want a sleep function too, so that would be good. <laughs> Swedish flags in the game, first of all. Oh my god, dude, it's been years, yeah. <laughs> I remember when that foreign post popped up and I was like, yeah, that is kind of weird. <laughs> Corrosive ammo might sound better on the AG5 experimental. That would be really cool too. The corrosive ammo as, like, a synergy thing could make the bullet burn through the enemy, damaging, like, slowly damaging components on the back end or something. Oh, you ate the tank. Oh, there you go. You didn't microwave it long enough. Nobody... Words to the wise. Never eat a cold tank. It probably will hurt your teeth. You want to microwave it on the highest setting. Ultra high. <laughs> AG4 Corrosive Plus? Um... You mean AG5. Uh, even though, Corrosive Ammo for the AG4 with the fire? That would be interesting. How would that... Maybe have, like, some sort of a combination. That they release the Big Island as a DLC. I very much agree. I very much agree. Dudes, I've been hoping for those islands for years. I I I've I kinda have this thing though. It's just a big zen where it's like even though I, I want things to happen in Generation Zero, it's like uh whenever it happens, it happens kind of thing. Alright, let's get these guys away. You're harassing harassing me while I'm hunting for hunting for Dallas, man. And actually, I think this Dell is outside of the house, if I'm remembering correctly. Where you go? Is he showing me where the Dell is? He's showing me! Buddy, thank you. Friend. Here. Whoa! Would love to see static. Um, what do you mean? Heavy mountains wep- Oh, static weapons! Static heavy, heavy weapons. Yeah, dude, like mounted turrets and stuff? That would be very cool. Like a mounted uh, heavy MG or something like that would be very, very sick, man. Highly agree. This hunter's really- confused. He was really confused with what he was doing. What his objective was. He was like, now that I gave you the Dalla, what do I do next? <laughs> do I do the die? Is that, is that step two? Another launcher to the game. Yeah. I, I don't know. I feel very spoiled these days myself, dudes, uh, when it comes to things that go boom. Actually, it's part of the reason why I'm using a loadout right now that has no explosive weapons, because I've just been running around nuking everything this whole time, and I should probably save them for bases. But, um, yeah, another launcher. 
What kind of a launcher would you guys like to see if you were to see one? Halo minigun, let's go. Let's go. Add a new shotgun, that's a meta we need to see expanded on. Absolutely. A good, another semi-auto shotgun, like a spaz or something like that, would be beautiful to see. And I feel it would make sense. Let's sip our drink and then deal with whatever's going on here. Kind of want a Russian LMG. There's quite a few to pick from. Actually, when it comes to Soviet weapons, I really think that Soviet weapons, like, there's so many weapons. So many weapons. From, like, prototyped and experimental weapons that they were inventing and stuff back in, you know, uh, Cold War eras and stuff like that, and the Soviet era and stuff. Uh, I really think that there's quite a few Soviet packs that we could see in the future. Though, in all honesty, dudes, one of the things that I really want to see is just more Swedish weapons. Again, you know, just kind of getting that Sweden into the Sweden game. Uh, do we need the purple Dalla? I don't think so. We do not. Look at that. Uh, but we do need the red, the iconic Klasa. The Kla Klasa? The Klasa Dalla Horsa. Let's go. Uh, um, 2344 minus 1972. Good year. Uh, minus 1972 is up here. And 2344 over here, yonder. You see, I do this thing where I get lazy with my coordinates and then I stop, like, actually looking at the coordinates. Two out of one, look at that, dude. <laughs> Collecting all the collectibles. Collected the collectible collect collections a collection of collected a bulls uh, what was the 2344 minus 1972 all right let's get to this location and then kind of wander nearby it. 1980s Sweden ABBA songs needed. Yes, dude. Actually, I was going through it, dude. It's, it's, it's really funny. Uh, I was going through uh, a lot of the music that I used to listen to when I was, when I was a young metalhead growing up. And um, a lot of the bands were from Sweden. And I didn't even know that they were from Sweden. But it also kind of explains why I never knew what they were screaming. Because I can I can normally understand that as a person that listens to metal. You get used to the vocal style and kind of learn how to learn the lyrics and stuff like that. But with, this, with, with like Meshuga and like um, Vildharda and stuff like that, I, I didn't know what they were saying. And it turns out there's a good reason why <laughs> they were screaming in Swedish. <laughs> It is the 90s now. It absolutely is the 90s now. Can you only get control points to spawn in the forest region? Big and Ben? Yes, sir. That is the only region for now. Uh, but in the first half of 2022, they're planning on adding more new control points, which is really exciting. Uh, I personally, I don't think that we're going to get more control points across the forest region. That doesn't feel like it makes sense because really, if you think about it, the forest region is pretty well covered at this point. Um, so personally for me, the region I would love to see next would be uh, up here, uh, up in the marshlands. So that, that way we could get like some Soviet bases to take on. Oh dude, take it easy, totally normal. Thank you for hanging out, man. You want a prototype variation of the P90 because uh, the game is now technically in the 90s. And the P90 started production in 1990. That's the thing. I would love to see that. There's so many weapons that were developed, especially in the years 1990 and 1991, uh, that would be awesome to see in the game. Also, there's a weird... Do you guys see that? That line of the shadow? There's a box on my screen the heck the 
Maybe they should make the threat level more dynamic. I would love to see it like that. Yeah, absolutely. Marshlands or farmlands? Yeah, dude. Farmlands would be really nice because you get, like, a lot of very flat areas around there. A lot of expansive areas. Taking over a farmstead, like a proper farmstead and stuff, would be really, really cool. You would like to see a mini nuke launcher just obliterate the enemy. That would be crazy, man. <laughs> Out of P90, dude, yes. Love to see an MP7. There we go, yeah. MP7, that's a bit older. I believe. Oh, yeah, the, the, the weird box on the screen. Yeah, man. It's weird. I wonder if it's, like, my character's shadow or something like that. Because there's also, there's, like, a little dangly thing sticking off of it. The heck? Let's kill that guy just because. Explosive P90, bruh. <laughs> the DP27, dude. Isn't that my chat box? <laughs> Maybe. That might be. Here, let's let's clear these boyos out. Maybe we could get some streamer loot and I could finally get my second base here. Or streamer luck. Streamer loot too. Wouldn't complain. Wouldn't complain, man. Hey. Welcome to the stream, my dude. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a six, six Saturday, my dude. Yo, Nate, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully y'all are doing fantastic. We're out here just doing things and stuff. We're just having like a really long hangout stream. Kind of celebrating, kind of celebrating 15k. But mostly just chill. Now let's see. No, I don't think that that would be the chat box. Maybe though, because... No, because the dangly bit is like... Oh, the dangly bit's gone! Weird. 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> but I guess we're going to have to deal with it because it's either I run or I don't. <laughs> That's good to hear, Hot Pancake. Good to hear, dude. Bow would be the best. Yeah, man. Honestly, I would love to see, like, a high-tech bow of some sort. Something real crazy. It would be cool. Maybe have, like, custom arrows that could do different things, like EMP arrows and stuff like that. So we didn't get another Phoenix base. That was to be expected. Par for the course. They cut off the dangly bit. That sounds wrong. That sounds inhumane. <laughs> oh, we're going for the... Right, yes. Red Dalahorse first. Um, yeah, because I got confused there, didn't I? I did indeed. Um, it's so easy to get sidetracked in this game, man. What are we looking for? 2344... Uh, by 1972. So yeah, it should be like just outside of this, outside of this boil. <clears throat> Sip the beverage here. Yo, Albert! Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. What do I think about the hack ability? I've always wanted to see it get, like, a bit of a spiff up. A bit of a spiff up. I think it, it was very fun in year one when the game had just freshly launched. 
Um, but I think it's one of the one of the skills in the game that maybe hasn't aged so well. Street sweeper shotgun would be awesome. I heavy agree. A shotgun with a big magazine that you could just dump. There we go. Uh, that you could just dump uh, buckshot or birdshot into or something like that would be awesome. Or slugs. <laughs> slugs would be maybe not so awesome. <laughs> But still, yeah, highly agree, dude. Oh, like a musket that you need to reload for 30 seconds or antique weapons. I would love to see it, man. I would love to see it. Just even for the laugh, man. Even for the laugh. Oh, I'm tracking my waypoint. That's weird. What happens if we remove the waypoint? Oh, the game didn't like that so much. Okay. Weird. I didn't know you could track waypoints. I don't think that... I don't think... <laughs> oh, what did you ask? You have eight rivals. Don't you need to have, like, six so the new bases will spawn? No. Uh, what I was saying more so was reducing your region score so that that way you could better track the region score that you're producing. Um, the amount of rivals, as far as I've seen, uh, does not actually impact uh, the system at all. Uh, yeah. Over on the forums, I was asking the, uh, team, just in a, you know, a side forum post, so it might never get seen, but I was asking the team for maybe more explanations on things, and I really think that the base thing, uh, needs, like, some real, real explaining. There's a new forest in the north coast? Oh, no, I don't think so. Because that area was already forested, I think, yeah. Do you have uh, maybe coordinates you would want me to head to? Oh, check it out. Oh, okay, so it does seem like there's something. Okay, 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 okay. What about the trenches? No way, man. I've been so... I've been so focused on the base assault thing that I, I, I haven't really had a huge opportunity to go around exploring. Because I've just been grinding. Like, savagely grinding in the forest region. But there's trenches? No way there's trenches in the north coast. Is the north coast as spicy? Because I will flip this table. I will flip the whole table if the north coast is spicy. Oh, it wasn't there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that is hot pancake. Sadly, it doesn't exist yet, but it is new. How to hide a body. Whoa. <laughs> Garbage bag. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go in with some slug boils. Oh, I don't have my med kits equipped. And let's really quickly get you on five. There we go. All is well. Yeah, that box is just kind of sticking there. Bummer. Whoop! Oh, Sergeant Deadeye, welcome to the stream, dude. Knowing the farmlands, the top left of the region has trees now. Dude, no way. I found the trench! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, and you are surrounded! And... Is that a power stance? Oh, uh, what are we... Okay! 
Oh, right. Oh, he's in his second power stance. All right, let's hide in this ditch. What the heck is this? Whoa, man. Do we got like some sort of a brand new digger machine just coming through digging holes? This is crazy. I actually, I noticed with um, a crashed fighter jet uh, over in the marshlands that there was a real like wide uh, and new looking kind of uh, trail of destruction behind it. And it's cool to see that like, obviously the team is going around with the train tool uh, and doing some work here. Very curious. I wonder what this is going to turn into eventually. And the nice thing is, too, is it doesn't, like, impede into the flatness of Alveric Plains, so it might still be the best place to have PvP matches. Can you only get the uh, Reaper out of certain region levels? Because that's what I've noticed. Yes. Yep. 21 and above, dude. Oh! Alright, sure. This feels very much like a war zone. Sometimes you can kind of block it with, like, hills and stuff. Now you can't see me, man. I'm actually John Cena this time. Surprise. There we go. Imagine if there's a Reaper version of the wolf. Basically a modified wolf with eight legs. No! No more spiders. <laughs> actually a Reaper wolf or something like a, a Soviet wolf to fight the Reaper would be a very crazy very crazy machine indeed. And actually it would... Yeah, that's right. Uh, it, he did like a full barrel roll. That was sick. Um, also, it would be really, uh, really cool for them to just whoop, get a boss type machine. I might have already said that. Jeez. Nano machine, son. Alright, dude. Oh, Alright, dude. Get him in the eyes! Sporter Tonk! No! No! Another thing I've noticed is that the PVG doesn't seem to go through trees. So Sweden's trees have managed to become even more powerful somehow here. No, oh, dude. Don't. I don't want to deal with another infinite wolf. There we go. Stinky. Big stinky, dude. Big stinky. Hope the fix for the new, uh, the new update comes soon. So do I, dude. I am really hoping so. Just ran over my mic cord. Whoa! Assignment... Assignment makes a noise! Blur! Also cool that the assignment actually worked! Awesome! Dude, nice! Alright, let's grab our... Dude, a hundred... Okay, sure, can't say no. Can't say no, man. <laughs> Base building is weird. A little bit. It would be good if the trees could be shot down and you could harvest them for wood. That would be crazy, dude. Though, 
It would kind of remove the invincible Sweden trees. Oh, hey. Uh, it would kind of remove the invincible Sweden trees, and I'd be sad about that. Sweden trees are made out of nano machines. No! And have instantaneous self healing. It's like the most advanced technology in the world, and nobody knew about it. Not even Von Ulmer. Just get muck showed, man. this harvester over here just bystander just an absolute bystander he's like i don't see it what do you mean there's a fight going on i'm not part of any sort of fight <laughs> when the ikea trees start speaking tonky machines whoa that's when you run <laughs> that's when you invest in the in the customizable boat <laughs> Could I please see your inventory? Just want to see what you've uh, accumulated. Yeah, for sure, the fever. Absolutely, dude. Um, here on this on this boy right now, we're just running with a real humble loadout. Oh, I heard them happen. I knew it was gonna happen. Who was it? Who was it, man? Coming through with the sucker punch. What the heck, man? And disappeared. Just disappeared into the shadows. He just came through just to be like, hey. <laughs> no worries, Barry. What up, Ant Antonov? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Endless waves of lynxes. That's why Ikea is so high tech. That's exactly it. You were wondering, probably, how they invented all of that Incredibly functionable and stylish furniture. They're from the future. That's it. Ikea is Phoenix and Phoenix is aliens and that's the truth. Here, let's get him to, yeah, do that thing. I really do like that trench. That's a very interesting spot though. Very, very interesting spot. Whoa. Man, the explosions in the game these days. Just looking tasty. The toilet is the kitchen. There's a power stance. Power statement if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Bog the machines until they're pocket size, dude. The pet machines that we that we've always needed. You just come through with a comically large hammer. And just give him a little a little bit of a boop. Yo. Come on. No, 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 no. No, no. Hold up. Hold up, Blinks. I gotta ask ask you a question. Okay. The answer was no. In case if any of you were wondering. Alright, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> and that really ticked him off for some reason. He's like, <laughs> You come into my house? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this area is crazy, man. I dig it. <laughs> Cheers, I think it was a burger player that told me to come here. And this forest! This forest, I see, indeed. The IKEA update, oh man. The update we desperately need. Get like 15 chairs you could put into your base. 15, man. And they'd all have cute little Swedish names. <laughs> it would be great. <laughs> Man, I'm just kind of enjoying observing this fight. Not even really taking part in it. Alright dudes, bets. What do you think? Who 
Who do you think would win? Charizard or Pikachu? Right? Even though Pikachu... Pikachu went in ham! Whoa! <laughs> Pikachu with the RKO! <laughs> <laughs> the SCP-3008 update, let's go. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you very much, Sergeant Denai. Now waiting for 20k, dude, exactly. Exactly. I'm so stoked to get another 15k with you dudes. We've got so many journeys in story, like, you know, I still feel like, I still feel like the, uh, the journey has only just begun, my dude. Alright, let's get medkits onto our slots. Not do the die. Oh, no, Pikachu! Dang it, man. Well, let's go through, clean up crew, and then continue our quest for Dalla Horses. What's better than Pokemon? Dalla Horses. Whoa! No! Why are you shooting me? All right, fine. This freaking guy, man. This freaking guy. There we go. Do I have a PS4? I used to, man. But then it died. There was a storage corruption on it or something like that. And it did the big die. The pretty much permanent die. I went off to my local Best Buy uh, tech store, and they were like, yeah, that's gonna be 400 bucks. And I was like, that's how much it costed to buy it in the first freaking place, man. But I do plan on getting a uh, PS5 at some point when they aren't more difficult to obtain than unicorn farts, you know? At that point, yeah, man. I'm planning on picking up a PS5, and that'll be really sick. There we go. It wasn't on purpose, Conrad. You you could you could best believe that it was not on purpose. I lost the best the best clothing item in this entire game. And it's a hair piece. The bandana with slicked hair. It was the best. It was literally the best hair. Karate Kid, and, and is gone. Gone forever. <laughs> Alright, let's stop with the melodrama and let's get back to the dollar horses. I tried to make that rhyme, it didn't really work. Uh, <laughs> we're going for the dead dollar horse? Is that really? Is that really where we're at? We are, dude! Uh, negative 42, 39, negative 8, 22. 42, 39, somewhere er, along here. Year 3022, 30, 20, I said that right, 3022, PS5 still sold out. We're still in a chip shortage. Oh, buddy. <laughs> It almost feels like it sometimes. It almost feels like it. Trying to upgrade my graphics card is like, oh, man. I'm going to be 80 years old by the time I do that. There we go, the fever. That's what I wasn't doing enough, you know? I wasn't really washing my PS4. It, they call for, what was it, like two buckets of water a day or something like that? And I slacked. I slacked hard. I got out the water spritzer and that's all I was doing. <laughs> 
No worries, Sergeant Deadeye. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend, dude. Uh, can you please accept my friend request? I have a PS4 and I find you, please! Cornelia, my PS4 is gone. I do not have a PS4. I used to, but I do not anymore. Do not stab or wash your PS4 or PS5, but that's what they told me to do in the manual. Not too sure on that one. Um, 4235. 4239! Along here. And then what is it? Negative 822. Up here? Indeed. Cool. Press F for PS4. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, my dudes. F to pay respect. For the lost brethren. The lost family of the PS4. Actually, I had like, I had tons of homies on the PS4 and and I just literally disappeared. I literally just poof vanished <laughs> for like ever. Except for the dudes that were like watching my YouTube and stuff. So they 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 found out. But still. Yo, what up, Race Demon? Welcome to the stream, man. How's it going, dude? We're just having a real long, epic, big old stream here today. We're gonna be streaming for many, many hours. Probably till I don't know. Four? Something like that? Four or five? Um, let's double check on our coordinates here for just a quick second. Negative 822 is gonna be this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oop! Ticks in the house. Do I have the weapon? I don't, because I dropped them. Dang. Do I have a grenade? Oh, no. We have the ultimate. The illegal Pikachu. <laughs> oh, and he just fucked him up. <laughs> I love how he just like melted up through the floor. He was like, I have arrived. <laughs> Oh, you're just over there in the corner. Here, let me assist you. There are more threats, my friend. You have further uses to be obtained. Further things to do with your life before you... Woo. Oh, I thought that they made the, um, the gnome noise, but I guess they don't. That would be fun if they did, though. Oh, leg! Stab it. The game doesn't want me to get this Dalla horse. The undead Dalla horse is summoning all of his, like, um, necromantic superpowers to stop me from collecting. But I must collect! I'm driven. It's gotta be somewhere around this house. Hey! Found him. There we go. Sealing away Generation Zero's version of the Necronomicon. <laughs> How can you get a gnome tick? Uh, Cornelia, you, the best bet is going on over to the forest region, or at least the old best bet. I don't know if it still works, uh, but the old best bet was heading on over to the forest region and exploring Tornbergat, Haga, and uh, Lilla. Kind of hitting up these three settlements. Uh, and then, yeah, I think just these three settlements, maybe... Up and along here, uh, near uh, Kirk Hoden. Um, but yeah, hit up these three locations at nighttime with a couple buddies. And uh, look at multiple houses. As many houses as you can throughout the nighttime. And you will hopefully find one. Um, but they're even... Uh, they're about as rare as getting the Phoenix bases to spawn. I think that that would be fair. I think that that would be fair to say that they're they're about the same level of rarity here in the game. Now, my dudes, one more Della. Let's go. Felix, dude, I am super d sad to hear that, man. Hopefully you have a very fast recovery from COVID. Nowadays, I feel like COVID is a, uh, you know, 
as it's going away, you know, uh, it's less in our faces, but it's still there and still something to be concerned about. You have to do it at night, running around causing as much damage. Look to see if the house has been boarded up and then the, and the ticks are coming out. Then you have to farm them. Do they get boarded up? I thought that the houses, I thought that the doors just locked. Hot pancake. I don't think that they get boarded up, but maybe they do. It is a hard process though. It's honestly, that's why I only have a few and they're running out and I don't know if I'm even bothered to gather anymore. <laughs> At least they do get boarded up. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I haven't actually, I haven't done a gnome hunt and better part of the year. COVID will be around for decades to come, sadly. Sadly. Maybe not decades, but I do think I do think we still have maybe a year or two more to ride out with it. It's like the flu, exactly. Here, I'm just opening up my phone here to get this last uh, location, my dudes. Which one is it that we're going for? Tan? I think that that's the tan one. I love the description for the Tandala horse. Do you want to know what it is? A Tandala horse. Who would have thought? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, no, no, dude. No new Dala horses uh, have been added so far, Cornelia. It seems to me the Soviet machines have gotten smarter. Before the update, the wolves used to do 1v1 with Phoenix machines. Now I often see them buddy up, usually two to four wolves uh, ganging on some machines. It's true, it's true, yeah. Definitely I'm noticing it's like a pack mentality maybe, uh, with lynxes as well. Uh, packs of lynxes seem to be a lot larger. What do you think that airport on the island is going to be? I'm not too sure. I'm not entirely too sure. I'm just going to pop open the map here. I'm not entirely too positive um, on what this is going to be. It could potentially wind up just being another major militaristic uh, air airfield. Um, but it could also wind up being a pedestrian one, too. I think pedestrian would be maybe a little bit more interesting. Uh, because we already have a militaristic one. But it's it's really hard to say on that end. They could surprise us completely and be like, ha ha, it's actually a horse race derby. And <laughs> it's not even a... <laughs> no, but I don't think that it's going to go down that route. Uh, so, negative 938. By 4466. Negative 4466. That's way up in the north. Stenmira. It's not for rooting. Um, all right, let's get this sorted. Nine thirty-eight. Is it gonna be a uh, Ruskele? No. Uh, yeah, because negative forty-four sixty-six is up here. Apologies, my dudes. I know that um, coordinate finding is not exactly the most spicy bit of content here, but it's only going to be a second. So it's like ballpark around here, but it's saying that I have the collectible, but I probably don't. So let's let's just go. Whoa, Felix! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Sit back down. It doesn't look big enough to be a military. Also, the small bit of roads on the mainland. That is very much a very spicy advancement that I did not expect to see. I literally, I always thought that this area up here was just like kind of waste from the map, you know, from making the map in the first place. And it's like leftover data or something like that. Or the controller of the RNG or y you never know in video games, right? Um... 
but having Rhodes on here is very, very spicy and makes me curious on whether or not the team maybe will go mainland. Because look at, like, if any of you dudes have been over there since my uh, video on farming wood and stuff, you, you know what I'm talking about. This is such an obscenely large area. <laughs> Such an obscenely large area that we could see updates going on for like freaking 20 years on not not that long but like you know a good five years worth of work could go into developing an area like this an area that large um yes is that a bridge to the mainland no no the road definitely definitely would run out there like it like it normally does but in the future maybe we build our own bridge have to gather up like cement and steel and stuff to rebuild the bridge and head on to the mainland or something maybe be kind of spicy freight fades away though look it's just to show that the outside area has stuff on it but you can't go there Antonov, that is a very, very true, uh, very true thought and, and kind of more realistic look at it. Is that it's just kind of there to be like, yeah, look at, um, you know, this is the mainland. Ta-da. As opposed to being like some sort of an intricate hint to the future or something like that. Two out of one collectibles got the tourist achievement bada bang bada boom how have i slacked off on that for two years dudes like unfathomable laziness <laughs> super saiyan three levels of laziness man <laughs> ridiculous all right dudes so, I think uh, we're going to have just a short intermission here at the hour and a half point. It's a good point to stand up, stretch the legs, get the blood flowing again. Uh, maybe grab a bottle of water or a glass of water. Um, but yeah, dudes, we will be back in just about like two to three minutes here. Uh, and then we will continue. Uh, just continue slumming it out. I think we'll do a little bit of grinding, see if we can get a Phoenix base. Um, and then go back to gathering collectibles and just mossing and stuff. Uh, so, just a few minutes, my dudes.
All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sorry about that, dudes. I, I kind of relaxed with my cigarette there for, for an extra moment because we're going to be going for a while longer here. Oh, Axolotl became a member. My dude. Legendary. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, tomorrow, actually, for my channel members, uh, as a bit of a heads up, we're going to be doing uh, a first here on my channel where we're going to have a members pre-stream where... Uh, all my members can hang out with me and then we're going to make the stream public afterwards so it'll give you dudes a chance to hang out with me uh, and get that members stream in and then uh, still go off and continue with our weekend of palooza tenebrita palooza <laughs> yes cornelia yes so that currently is on consoles uh, and it's not that location does not show up on PC, uh, but it's a very curious in location indeed, especially with all of those advancements up in the North Coast region uh, that we were shown there by Burger Player. Eating a curry, very nice, dude. Very nice. Uh, this evening I'm making myself chicken wings. It's gonna be the supper: chicken wings and sweet potato fries. You know, you gotta try to be kind of healthy when you're being unhealthy, right? <laughs> Just got here. What'd you miss? You missed nothing. Uh, well, actually, no. You missed quite quite a bit. We've been on a Dalla hunt. Uh, we've been hanging out, chatting. Lots of chats. Lots of dead machines. Noodle brisk. Let's go, dude. Uh, just one dollar, Cornelia. It is the very low price of one Canadian dollar. Which potentially... For some people, winds up being even less than a dollar. <laughs> but yeah, I've tried to keep uh, my channel membership super affordable for anyone. Just if they so happen to want to support the channel. A little bit extra and get a little bit extra content along the way. I always take it a little bit careful with uh, lynxes because of that return fire bug. You don't want to get caught out by it. Pop both of those. It should be good. For the rest of it. But wait, there's more! Call right now! You got a second Lynx for free! Slick though. Uh, let's loot and scoot because we haven't been doing enough of this and really actually Lynxes are fantastic to loot from. Those advanced med kits, dude. Gib. Yeah. Another one. Yeah. Nah, okay, cool. Wait, one more? Nah, okay. Sick! Oh, wait. We got our second one, but it had nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, dudes. So, now, spicy, spicy thing. Uh, you dudes are getting a bit of a spoiler, a bit of a sneak peek into my route for grinding here uh, in the forest region. So I'm going to take you dudes through my grinding route just for a little bit here, uh, and we're going to see if we can get lucky and get a Phoenix base to spawn in. We won't attack that Phoenix base, sadly, <laughs> if we do get one to spawn in. i got to leave it this time. But, um... Steven, my dude! Thank you very much for becoming a channel member here. Thank you so much. You dudes really... It, it all adds up, and it makes a serious difference here. Oh, dude, Sam, no worries, man. You have a fantastic rest of your Saturday and a great evening, my dude. Does anyone know how to become a member? The link should be in the description down below, Big and Ben. What difficulty am I playing at? Uh, skirmish. Skirmish is my preferred difficulty. Uh, I bump it up to Gorilla in order to grind rivals and grind the Reaper and stuff like that. Uh, but I generally don't play on Gorilla casually because it's just too medkit intensive. <laughs> and and as we know, I'm kind of lazy, a little lazy. So <laughs> so grinding medkits infinitely um, 
got a little bit tired. But I played Gorilla for a long time, especially when it first came out. Wish the controller joystick aiming was smoother, having trouble tracking machines on the move. Though it's not a bug concern. Yeah, man, there is a, a soft um, auto-aim for consoles. Uh, it's like an aim guide kind of thing, and that can make tracking moving targets very, very difficult on consoles. Um, what I found worked really good was utilizing iron sights and then, um, you know, leading shots and stuff like that. Can't see any channels on the Discord. Axolotl, shoot me a message and I will roll you up after this stream. Uh, same for anyone that joins. Uh, there should be a link to the Discord in the channel member description. Um, so uh, take that link, shoot me a message. I will get you rolled up. So we start off with these boyos. I need to pick up med kits. That would that would be a good call. That would be a good call. Uh, but we start with these boyos and take them down. Set spawns. Essentially, we start off farming set spawns. Oh, hey. There we go. He's stuck under the table. <laughs> no med kits, though. We'll leave him to suffer. Um, <laughs> uh, and then... For the next location, so again, this is the grinding route. This is the grinding route. For the next location, we are moving off to uh, Grand Higgett. If this tick would die, thank you. Cheers, friend. Hell. So then we head off to Grand Higgett for another set spawn. Welcome back, Hot Pancake. Yeah, sorry, I, I took a little bit longer with my break there. How to open this door just north of the Borga Coolin safe house. Ooh! Door, Borga Coolin, Borga Coolin, Borga Coolin. Where's Borga Coolin again? Ah, uh, region reminder, please. Uh, are your character builds still good? I just got back into the game and wanted to level up a new character with known builds. Uh, in my opinion, my Reaper Buster build is one of the best builds in the game. Uh, just from, you know, trying out many different variations of builds and stuff, I think that my Reaper build really is the type of one and done kind of builds. Uh, you do need a, uh, another build to do looting and stuff, um, but that's easily made. It's bugged. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Thank you, Serna. Oh, does it just take... Alright, here. I will double check that. I will double check that, Big and, big and Ben. Um, yeah, should be fine. We're on the map screen. Uh, let's open up the channel. No. The, um, the live stream. Whoa. Get out of here. Got an ad for my... <laughs> Uh Oh, that's funny. What the heck? It did bring off to weird. There should be a join button so you can absolutely use that. And let me try to get that fixed up because that's very weird. That absolutely was a working link beforehand. Just 2 seconds, my dudes. Just 2 seconds. <clears throat> oh, that's super weird. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, and let's um just really quickly edit the description. The chat has absolutely rolled on. I knew it would have. No. Okay. I will get back in just just two seconds. Just two seconds have to fix this. It's the exact same link. I don't know. That's very weird. That's very weird. But the join button 
Um, the join button just beside the subscribe button uh, is also another method of joining the channel. <laughs> Music with the ten a moment. Let's go. <laughs> I do need to. I do need to get together some sort of uh, spicy music to uh, have as like backing tracks. Absolutely. So continuing the grinding route. So we start off at uh, Nyhamnon, and then we come on over to Grand Higgett, and over at Grand Higgett here, uh, we head on up the hill for another set spawn. And there with gas cans and use the knockback into the room. There you go. You used to be able to use bikes to get into rooms too, but I think that they patched that one out. All right, so we come on up here for this lonely tank boy. -o. Sometimes there's uh, machines doing the fight, doing the fighty thing. Uh, but we come on up here. Did we not grab medkits? I don't think we grabbed medkits. Interesting. All okay. right. Uh, and then we got this uh, harvester here. He's part of the farming route. We keep him alive. Oh, hey. Freaking. Do I just have infinite medkits? Because it's not showing, like, a count for the medkits or anything. Oh, hello. Peek out. Oh. Should be dead. And one more component, maybe? No! Hey! Tough boy. Alright, there we go. Sure. Okay. Took a minute, but I will take it, and I'll take that as well. Yeah, I have no idea what medkits I was even <laughs> using there. Ghost medkits?! The streams become cursed. Haunted stream. Don't play Generation Zero at midnight, or else you get the spooky med kids. All right, dude. Okay. Alright. No! Why'd you come to- Uh oh, I'm stuck. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is the bad! Let's... Let's go on this way. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Make a video of yourself dancing to music, maybe! <laughs> There's enough dancing emotes in the game. Seems almost deserted to you post-update. Uh, yes, machine spawns are really weird after the, uh, base assault update gone. Very, very weird. These set spawn locations are nice because they're reliable. They just give you these machines, uh, every single time you do a quit to menu. Uh, so you can, you can farm these machines essentially infinitely. The experience gathering isn't too bad. They're military machines. It would be nice to get some spe set spawns for uh, Phoenix machines. Uh, but still, the farming gains are not too bad. No way. I've fully used all my med kits. That's how real the grind has been. Oh, dude. All right. I would appreciate it. I would really appreciate it if you didn't come in with the no scopes. All right. That was good. We essentially cannot get hit. 
Nor can we walk into fire. All right, here we go. Anyone else? Is that it? Let's do the let's do the um, prone thing, because that generally will get us out of combat. There we go. How do you Discord? Um, here I could I could post up a invite link here. Uh, Axolotl. Unless if you haven't made a Discord account, in which case you have to make a Discord account. Right, but but yeah, I'll, I'll hold up and see see what you need here. Drinking toxic oil or gas or fuel, very good. Maybe. <laughs> Calling Phoenix at 2 a.m. gone wrong. Oh no. <laughs> no worries, Ionic. We'll be here when you get back. Do you know a good way to get cement? Right now, Leonard, uh, base defense and base assault is your only method. Do you need, um, do, or do you think I am an advanced player or a noob? I need more five weapons to have all five crown weapons. I have all experimental. I have a lot of cosmetics, for uh, exosuit, for example. I think, I think in generation zero, once you pass the 30 hour point, you're getting pretty close to being like a seasoned player. Of course, you can play this game for hundreds and hundreds of hours, but I think once you get to around the 30 to 40 hour point, you figured out how Generation Zero works. And at that point, I would consider that to be an advanced player as opposed to a noob. You do have a Discord. I am just dumb. No worries, man. I know. I know the feels. I know the feels. Here. Uh, I will post up a Discord link. You guys might get a flickery building. Apologies. Oh, oh, let's let's actually um do that boil. That one works better. All right. And if anyone who hasn't joined my Discord yet, if you'd like to come through and join, you absolutely can. I never post on it. <laughs> I forget this thing exists all the time. Um, but. Yeah, but it's a thing. It's here. And it's a method for you dudes to shoot me a message if you ever want to. Alright, bada bing, bada boom. Discord link right there. And then to get in contact with me, I'm just the infinite dude up at the top, the orange name. Pop me a message. Uh, if you're looking for, if you're a channel member looking for the role, uh, that's literally all you gotta say to me. Um, if you don't know what to say. Because <laughs> I know that feel. I know that feel too. Um, Alright, there we go. We are back in the game. We are back in the game. Step three for the grind. We're going to go through this fluidly after this. <laughs> so that, that way that way it all makes sense. 726 hours. Gom Jabber. There you go. Legendary, man. Thank you so much, Insane Zebra. Yeah, man. It's all thanks to you, dudes. Gamer Twins, you're a legend, man. Thank you. You're in the Discord. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I post on that thing like every winter solstice. Uh, but for channel members, it's a place for you dudes to hang out. Um, you know, chat and stuff. I always mean to get like more active with things, but then the reality of me being a lazy, lazy turd <laughs> just... <laughs> Just comes right back through. <laughs> right, we have to craft med kits. We have to craft med kits. We cannot continue this adventure without crafting med kits. Has anyone no else noticed that the Phoenix Harvesters are spawning with the concussive blast emitters? Yeah, madman. So now they have both, which is really interesting and really spicy and a lot of fun when it comes to like removing all the components on a uh, machine and like neutering a machine and stuff. What up, ODST? Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a fantastic Saturday, man. Alright, 10, 20. 
and then 40 of those. Yeah, man, I am super addicted to experimental med kits. It's a bad, it's a bad thing. It's a problem. And now, excuse me, burp. Um, now I'm really panicked because it's like, how am I going to get uranium? I'm probably never going to run out, but how am I going to get uranium if I don't have a base? The heck? All right, so for our last location, we're coming off to a relay beacon to farm the machines at the relay beacon. A very c careful practice. Is there a sweet coffee? I don't like normal coffee. Personally, for me, I like a bit of sugar, a bit of sweetness in my coffee. So I buy flavors, uh, flavored creams. I generally like to go for like caramel. Caramel is kind of the go-to, uh, but flavored creams. It really perks up a cup of coffee, especially if it's like a really strong, bitter one. We're going in the wrong direction. Whoops. Yes, hot pancakes. So, uh, Harvester, yeah, Harvester Reinforcements has been uh, toned, I don't know, yeah, kind of toned down a little bit, I think. It's hard because I don't remember the exact amount that the uh, hunters would give you, but I think that Harvester Reinforcements has kind of been nerfed a little bit, which is fair. It was literally like you could grind a character to max level in like an hour. So... <laughs> Once went, uh, once went bitter, uh, straight bitter coffee. Hmm. No problem with that. Actually, back when I used to do roofing, I used to like to drink black coffee. No, oh, dude. Channeling Matt Hoffman. Let's go. Yes. No way I survived two of those jumps. Go! Yes! Okay! <laughs> that was intense, dude! That was, the, that was the most hardcore biking I've done in Generation Zero in a long time. <laughs> what the heck? Where do you like coffee from, though? Personally, for me, I like to pick up Tim Hortons. Uh, I'm very much Canadian through and through. Uh, and I like my Timmy's, man. If it's not Tim's, then it's probably uh, Nescafe. Nescaf. <laughs> However you say it. Can stun harvesters out of the reinforcements call? That's interesting. What do you mean by that? Like with EMPs or do you mean by staggering? Because that's very interesting. Okay. Man. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I missed three months ago when you could just quick scope everything. <laughs> Still kind of but every once in a while you get one bullet that's like nope I'm out of here see you later man <laughs> saw a song about Tim's on Spotify that's amazing hopefully made by a Canadian if not then even more respect There we go. Experience has been gathered. Seems like we uh, lost one over the hill here. Some call hunters, some call runners, some call a mix of two. It's weird. It is. It's a system that I very much... Another one of those things that I really need to dig into here and get figured out. You're a mechanic, dude. Respect, dude. A lot of my buddies went into mechanic work. Uh, I I was never I was never smart enough about cars to like get into it and stuff. I took a bit of a course in high school, but then I was like, no. <laughs> Our place, Canada. There we go. <laughs> what up, Demolition Co? Welcome. Timbits. Oh, dude. Shannon. Oh, man. Did anyone try the Bieber beans? <laughs> I can't even say the name, man. It's so horrible. But they tasted pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, let's exit to the main menu here. Important notice! 
Uh, command tokens for destroying bases are character locked. You cannot share between characters. No way. Oops. <laughs> Select the exact same character. All right. So this guy, this boy has got 10. Steven, thank you very much. That is an important notice. No way! Interesting! You wouldn't have... You wouldn't have thought! Cheers! Thank you very much for that very important notice there, Steven. That doesn't seem right to me. I don't know. That doesn't seem entirely right to me. It's like if every character's progress was independent, then yeah, it would make sense. But having, like, only one thing be <laughs> character dependent is very strange. No way! Yeah! Serious! Seriously, Alias. By the way, welcome to the stream, my dude. Ain't people... <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Definitely ain't putting its bits anywhere near me. <laughs> that feeling, man. It literally, like, ordering a box of them was, like the most shameful order you could ever make in your life. And it's like, well, that's why they named it that. <laughs> I, I truly believe that Justin Bieber just has, like, a really dark sense of humor. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay, so... Unexpected. Unexpected advancement. Let's take... I don't know. That much of that... What's the region threat level? The threat level stays the same. Makes sense. But, I'm curious if this might be the source of all of our problems. Where it's like, maybe like, each character has like a massive cooldown or something. How long's left of the stream? About an hour and a half, man. I think my voice can handle it. Also had a bug that wouldn't let you loot stuff unless you died. Weird. Grim. <laughs> That's a grim, grim bug to have, man. Yeah, I've seen some interesting bugs uh, across this game. Um, right now, an interesting one is that set piece machines like this, uh, they carry their loot. So if you kill them once and then you kill them twice, the second one of them has the same loot. So like if you looted them or something, it's totally gone. Right, I'm running an engineer here, so soft and squi uh, soft and squishy character. Just got the crafting recipe for the radioactive first aid kit, dude! Excellent! You will never run out of breath again! With the power of rad kits. Honestly, I think a lot of people sleep on rad kits. They have a kind of really interesting amount of uses. Um First and foremost, should should heal. Do I have heals? I feel like this character has mad kids. Let's see. Uh, one! That's all you need, man. That's all you need. Um, yeah, man, rad kits. You can use them for sniping and give yourself a very extended period of no weapon swing, which can be very useful for, like, very long distance sniping, like the 400, uh, 400 meter eagle eye challenge. I think it's needed a lot. Alright. Ticks should burn out any second now. We'll take him out by the face as opposed to the fuel cell so that we don't accidentally destroy our uh, relay beacon so that we can keep farming that spot. Picked up guitar recently. Dude, awesome. Please share some of your wisdom as I'm trash at it. Uh, number one thing, go to like some classic songs, you know, some, some classic songs that, you know, were from your childhood or something like that, that you listen to a lot on, 
you know, either the radio or MTV or whatever you, whatever you might have had in uh, your local area, and try to go to some of those songs. Not only will it be a good nostalgia trip, but it'll also be really good uh, for learning, hopefully, an easy thing on guitar. Unless if you were listening to, like, some crazy, like, you know, <laughs> Led Zeppelin shreddage or something like that, in which case, you might want to work up to that a little bit. Other pro tip is take it slow. Take it slow. Guitar is not the type of thing you learn overnight. It's the type of thing that takes a lot, a, a lot of time. A lot of time investment. Heck yeah, Ionic. Annoying that you can't spawn in more bases because of the glitch. It is very annoying. It's very weird about the character dependent command tokens. That's also a very, very interesting and st like peculiar thing here. I don't think that switching characters is going to make too much of a difference. I guess we could test it a little bit more thoroughly here, but I don't think it's going to make the greatest difference in terms of getting these guys to poof out of thin air. The other thing too that I'm learning as I've gone along here is that it it doesn't seem like it's like the Reaper system. So it's not like you have to have your region at a specific level, I don't think. But again, developers, please. Explanation, please. <laughs> 279 uranium, just chilling. Yeah, just fine. <laughs> An annoying bug. When you got all DLCs, then the doctor, then the DLC weapons, attachments, and ammo will be duplicates if you make a new game plus. Yes, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. And I've even heard of people having like rampant duplication. Luckily enough, I haven't run into anything like that. Um, but yeah, I've I've heard of that, and that uh, I actually use that <laughs> mischievously uh, to benefit uh, one of my best start videos. Uh, let's med kits. Let's get the med kits. Please make it more common, please. Please. All oh, right, yeah, there is no crafting. That would be a cool thing for backpacks as well. Maybe with backpacks you could get like a crafting upgrade. That way you could craft on the fly. On the fly crafting would be mental for this game. It would be such a like game changer. But then again, I don't know if I'd like on the fly crafting, you know? It would almost maybe streamline things a little bit too much. Ace through learning drums, so I was like, oh yeah, guitar will be a breeze, and here I am today. Very different, very, very different instruments. And it's, that's funny, actually, random British bloke. So I breezed through guitar, but when I tried drums, couldn't make heads or tails of it. I, I tried for a good couple months, and I just could not nail anything. I couldn't even hold the sticks right half the time. Of course, that was when I was younger. I'm sure that I be able to take it in maybe a bit better form now, but uh, still, yeah. Sometimes it's like you almost go one way or the other with it. Yeah, there you go. Would love to be able to craft while moving around the map and beat having to sit at the safe house. Yeah, ODST, right? That's why I think, like, maybe as a backpack upgrade or something like that, then it, then it would be good. You get four coat knocks. Whoa. <laughs> Even four of them won't do you that much good. <laughs> Five C. Yeah, dude. Five crown. And six crown. Hoping for a seven crown someday. Yeah, it doesn't seem like this is going to get anything to spawn in any easier, and I don't really like using my engineer to fight too much. He's for bunker runs. Purely for bunker runs. Gen Z on your PS4, and the first time in forever, you still have 200 stims from the hotel farming method. Dude, hold on to them. You never know. You never know when an adrenaline drought's going to come through, my dudes. 
Experimental AK. It would be so good, dude. AI-76. It would be so good, dude. I would love it, man. I would love to see just like a nasty future tech kind of, um, kind of Kalashnikov. So I don't really know what the experimental AK would do, but I have had thoughts on how it would look. And the first thought is taking this kind of portion of it and making it like serrated, you know? So it's like got like chunks taken out of it or something like that. Uh, and, and making it like black uh, carbon fiber or something like that or just black plastic or something uh, would would add to the future tech uh, not black plastic but like kind of like uh, like this this sort of material I think it would be very good dudes do I watch anime I do I do not as much as I used to uh, nowadays I have a hard time watching TV shows in general but um, yeah I, I used to watch a ton of anime dude Actually, lately I've been I've been waiting for an anime show to get me really back into anime, uh, but it just hasn't come. I think it's I think it's because like Re Zero and uh, Made in Abyss and stuff like that. Like I'm waiting on those shows, <laughs> real big. Man. Hey, there we go, there we go, dude. Make the uh, AK-47 look unstable looking. That would be a good design. Dude, that would be crazy with, like, red crackling electricity. Dudes. Dudes. I'll stay here on this weird invisible hitbox and run in the spot. Uh, red electricity from the experimental AK? That would be sick. That would be sick, man. Freaking red lightning, man. Red lightning. We need to use it. We need to have it. Phoenix can have it, so can we. <laughs> Freezing ability. There's a direction. There's a direction that we haven't really seen. We've seen the fire and the lightning. What about ice? That's a good thought there, Axolotl. Ice would be interesting. Maybe ice would make the machine more brittle so they would take more successive damage. I could see that being very powerful, but then again, all experimental ammo types nowadays are, like, disgusting, so... Why YouTube flag 50 cal? Dude, YouTube flags the word bullet sometimes. And it's like, you know there's the word bullet point, YouTube. Come on, what can you do? Hello, friends. I'm just kind of wandering at this point. We'll get back to some collectible hunting in a moment here. No. I was running to that spot, man. Why'd you run to the spot that I was running to? Oh! Damn it! Oh, 556. Death by a million paper cuts. Thank you, friend. Good guy. Good guy, Hunter. Coming in with the freaking clutch plays. Whoa. Stuck. Have you been watching the new Attack on Titan? No, I haven't. Because I fell off of Attack on Titan around Season 3. I think it was the wait for Season 3 that made me fall off. So I have a lot of Attack on Titan to catch up on before I can get to the end. Because uh, aren't they in the final season now? I believe. Why not an auto 40mm? That would be nice. That would be a real cannon, man. <laughs> Follow AK, AK guy? Uh, the YouTube channel? AK50, though. I, I follow this one group called uh, Kalashnik 
Kalashnikov, um, something? I'm trying to think of what the second word is. Uh, but they're, they're a group of Russian dudes, uh, and sadly because of real world crap, their YouTube channel might not be around. I'm not too sure what's going on with that stuff. Um, but, yeah! So the AK-50, it's actually kind of a friggin' crazy gun. They're breaking it up into three parts. There we go. Dude, watch it. You won't regret it. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Tonight, I'll have a little binge session. Little binge session. See if I can get back into Attack on Titan. Who knows? It might be the anime to get me back. Because really, I've tried watching like half a dozen shows since the start of the year. Dropped them all. Dropped them all. Kalashnikov group. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Where they shoot guns for so long it lights on fire and stuff. It's ridiculous. <laughs> they really bring it up to like an extreme level, man. Welcome back, Big and Ben. Attack on Titan is good. Attack on Titan is great. It is. It is. I, I used to get super into it. I used to get super into it. I actually, I learned a little bit of the main theme. They're like, da, 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 <laughs> Had to learn it. Had to learn it when I was watching it in the first place. Let's see. Do I have... Whoop. Don't want to use those guys. I don't know. Should we just use them up? See, three gnome pods versus one military tank. Who would win? You guys want... Do you, would you guys fancy that? I think it would be fun. Got a Phoenix base, Ionic. There you go. That's what we're grinding for currently. Dude, save it. Save it. The temptation to destroy is there, but you really want to save it, man. Found out how, and you might become a member. Awesome, Big and Ben. Awesome, dude. I would very much appreciate it. Again, channel members, we're going to be having a bit of a pre-stream before tomorrow's uh, final stream of the Stream of Palooza weekend, so uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Y'all will be able to hang out with me for like a good hour, I, I'm thinking, before we get into the stream. I'm hoping my voice will be okay from this like extra long stream, but I think I think I should be able to champ out the champ out the final day too. Gnome Tech's win! Alright, let's see, let's see, dude. The power of money. <laughs> Alright. Beautiful. Get him! Get him! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, what do you think this is? <laughs> no. Like. Unfair advantages. No! Alright, we can't fuel sell them. That... Mm, that might have done it. I think... I think he just nuked... <laughs> he just nuked the field. <laughs> that tank was like, I've played this game before. Using my own weapons against me? That's a shame. It really looked like the uh, Tex Adam for a moment there. Ah, uh, the beautiful sounds of machine carnage, right? <laughs> Currently attacking a mixed level base. Dude, sick! Good luck! I hope you get fat loot, man. A healthy portion of smack. Death by a million paper cuts. At least they're fast paper cuts. Yeah. I have logs, dude! Whoop! There we go. Want a Russian outfit? Dude, the Soviet exosuits would be super cool to get. Your friend, ha a friend has a dedicated account for gnome pods. He versus the reaper with it with a thousand gnomes. It was pretty funny to watch it. Man, I could imagine the frames struggling with that. <laughs> that would be crazy, man. 
I still remember watching this one dude use a hundred ticks to try to beat a prototype tank way back in the day. And it was just like sadness. The video was sadness, man. <laughs> Alright, so no Phoenix base. To be to be espetted espetted. Let's drink our drink here. Uh Ninja Joseph says, Has anyone got more than one Phoenix base? A, a number of people have, Ninja Joseph, but it seems like the RNG for it is very, very low. Gnome Supremacy, let's go. Secret gnome cult. Right? Worship the gnome gods. <laughs> it's a shame I used all my gnomes. I would pop one out right now. But. The gnome screams. They're so good, dude. They're so good. Going the wrong way again. On my map, I have four rival hunters in a group, and I vowed not to kill them as they are friends. Yeah, you can't break up the group, right? No, you gotta let them, you gotta let them, uh, you know. They're a gang. It's like their childhood gang brought back together in a high school reunion or something like that. <laughs> is real content, it is. <laughs> For a month or two now. Dude, that's so perfect. You gotta leave them. There's been times where I've, like, come through and ruined a couple machine friendships. And I'm not gonna lie, it feels kind of rotten to do sometimes. Alright, can we do this a second time? Matt Hoffman. Matt Hoffman. Oh, no, okay. Man, hitting the jumps. Hitting the jumps at, like, you know, 50 miles an hour. <laughs> It's actually a lot more difficult to pull off. <laughs> Fall asleep to the gnome screams. I wake up to them, actually. My morning alarm, it's just... <laughs> Is there anything new with the Iron Church? Not so far as, as far as I've seen. It seems like the latest update was very much the Resistance and uh, Tatiana. Not even the other Soviets, but just Tatiana. The forest to the mountains. <laughs> nice hot pancake. <laughs> they're, they're just trying to like, you know, like they're, they're sending out those alien crop circles. That's what they're doing. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what's the word? What's the word? Griefing. Yes, from like Minecraft and stuff. The machines came through and griefed your map. <laughs> with a dong. <laughs> Bikes need an upgrade. It would be awesome to see. Would be very awesome to see, dude. And you get a quick scope. And you get a quick scope. And you in the back! You get a quick scope too! You get a few! You get a handful! Oh, I guess we didn't need to use a medical there, but that's okay. In my opinion, the medical first aid kits taste the best. Like a first aid kit connoisseur. <laughs> Sipping on the <laughs> medical first aid kit, you know, <laughs> taste testing. <laughs> All right, dude. One combat. Nothing. Not a zilch. All right. So let's get back on to the collectible grind. We have like a uh, handful of those. Handful of those. Two of those. So we'll we'll go off and gather up these character biographies before we go back to the blue in the face grind to get a freaking Phoenix base. Um. This game needs motorbikes, and I could be silenced by putting a gun silencer on the tailpipe. Oh, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man. What do you guys think about motorized vehicles? I do think that the flak mo uh, is something that needs needs to happen. Get a little bit more Sweden into the Sweden. Uh, <laughs> 
So, we have two more character biographies. Let me pop this open on my phone here. <laughs> Axolotl, that's basically it. <laughs> that's why our characters just chug through them. <laughs> it's actually a problem. It's actually kind of concerning. <laughs> Motorized vehicles sound cool. Dude, dude. I do think that there's a lot. I mean, like, honestly... Ever since I saw the promo art of the dude on the dirt bike before Generation Zero even launched, um, I very much wanted to r rip around on a dirt bike, have like machines chasing after me, rockets going off in the distance. I think it would be crazy. The real question is though, <laughs> if we were ripping around on a, on a motorbike, what would our ragdoll be like? Imagine the ragdoll. Our character would be like, Bleh! and then just fly off into the stratosphere. <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> oh, Bad Don, what up, man? Hi, longtime fan. Question, how do you feel about the increased range of detection from the new Russian units? Uh, they see me so far away. More realistic, but taking some time to get used to. Bad Don, I actually very much enjoy it. Another thing, too, is uh, when the Lynxes go into their search mode and they do, like, a 360 spin with their uh, yellow scanner, they actually track you way easier when they do that, too. I very much enjoy it. Yeah, I think that that's part of the reason why the team made all of the Soviet machine's eyes glow red. Uh, was to kind of show, like, hey, we've also made them see better, which, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Maybe a little dinghy boat? Dude! Dude! I want a customizable boat so badly. So badly. Here, let's sip some water. Do you know if you can rotate weapons in the inventory? You should be able to. Yeah, man. Uh, on PC, it is uh, right mouse click console maybe left trigger i can't remember what it was on console wasn't it one of the analog sticks maybe it's one of the analog sticks seeker copter seeker copter dude yes put a seat on top of the seeker and you just sit down on top and then you float all over the place use those floaty boys for good <laughs> seven kilograms of adrenaline <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's quite a bit. Because <laughs> they weigh like 0 0.01 kilograms. That's got to be like a thousand adrenaline or something, dude. Uh, what were we looking for? It was the character biographies. Beauty. These will be super easy to just blast right through. Veronica Nielsen and Svant. Good old Svant. Sick. It would be pretty funny, right? <laughs> Could upgrade them with like uh one of our one of our uh grenade launchers, one of our thumpers, put it on the bottom, and then you could rain mortars on the battlefield. Come on, dude. Come on. Generation Zero team, hire me. You could hire me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love if we had scouting drones, but not really late 1980s tech, to be honest. But neither are giant machines. Neither are giant machines. The thing about our technology in Generation Zero, the uh, like awesome thing about it, is that even though we're in, only in the 1990s, we currently have m machine technology that we don't even have here in like 2022, or we just barely have in 2022. So, you know, I don't think that future tech and Generation Zero is a bad thing, personally. I think it's a good thing. Seven hundred adrenaline, <laughs> yeah, that might be duped. I don't know. With the infinite adrenaline off at the beer net. Oh, it's one hundred and fifty-eight adrenaline. No way. No way. Did they change adrenaline's weight? Interesting. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Jeez, man. I guess it's not that much adrenaline. I don't know. It depends on how much you die, you know? 
If you if you tend to die a lot, then 158 adrenaline might not seem like very much. But if you're like me and you just eat as many med kits as your character can handle, uh, <laughs> then you're kind of okay half the time. A gun off machines to put onto your bikes. That would be so awesome. I would love to use the machine technology, real comment. I would love to, man. Though, right now, I'm I'm questioning whether or not the real comment... You know, don't believe everything you read online and stuff. Is real comment the real comment? That's flushed. You guys use adrenaline? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> With field radios? Right, we were gonna do character biographies and then I just went off and went back to the grind. Whoa! Sorry! My bad. Can we do it? No. Nope. Ah, frick. We did it! <laughs> Success! Oh man, what is up with the Generation Zero wiki and its ads? What are these? Get out of here. Literally just a giant ass car. <laughs> like. Imagine having tick pods on the dirt bike. That would be crazy. You rip up alongside them, drop a couple gnome ticks, scoot off. Needs more air activity. Airborne enemies are the ones that I really want to see next, dude. Thank you very much, Bad Don. The next 15k will come faster. It always does, right? It always does. And the thing is, is like, I still feel like I'm only just getting started here, dudes. So, there is so much more to come. Where's the high tier weapons at? Uh, Electric Griffin. Uh, there are a few weapons that you can get from missions that are 5 crown. But your best method is killing high class machines. And then you get the best weapons from the best machines, essentially, is the way it goes. Eating and watching you. I thought you'd do lives on Tuesday. We're doing a special uh, weekend live stream, Chris, here. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're just doing a, a weekend of Palooza here of streams. Um, so let's look at the location that we are going to next for Veronica Nilsson. Uh, 4752 by negative 576. Negative 576 ballpark here. And forty-seven. Uh, forty-seven, forty-six. Is it one of the Bergs forgotten? No, I think this one was one of the weird ones that was like up on a hill. Oh, interesting! You can see the cave system. That's cool. That's something new. Definitely wasn't there before. All right, let's fast travel on over here. A movable field radio would be nice too. One that we tape to a bike or have following us on top of a tick. That would be really nice. That would be really nice. Or maybe just having the ability to pick back up field radios. That way if you run into a fight and you plop a field radio down, it's not wasted at that point if you don't use it. You could then just pick it up. And if you use it, then you pick it up, but it has less uses to it the next time around. Very much agree. Very much agree. The field radio uh, system in Generation Zero could definitely be expanded on in interesting ways. <laughs> Axolotl. Nice. Oh, is there a five-star spawn nowadays for the PVG ODST? What up, Miguel? Welcome to the stream, my dude. My dudes, let's go, let's go. I'm just scanning through the comments here. Um, let's go pick up this character biography. Maybe take care of these boys. There we go. Oh, no. No doggos left alive. Where are you? Oh, man. I don't know about you dudes, but I really love the Alex Titzer. It's just 
such a gnarly hunting rifle. And something about the, like, choo noise from it, too. Like, really, really friggin' works. Feels like I'm killing machines with, like, the most destructive blow dart gun of all time. <laughs> Basically, bike update. Would be nice to see, dude. Want mixtapes? Oh, dude, Blank, that is something that I absolutely have always wanted to see. Yes, dude. Listenable mixtapes. Maybe even at your home base. Like, if you were to get, like, a field... Or, not a field radio. A boombox and put it down in your base and then play the mixtapes and stuff like that. That would be so sick. And I mean, like, really, the resistance does seem to work with a bit of a devil-may-care mentality in a lot of cases. So I feel like hanging out and listening to a boombox on a Sunday evening during the Sweden machine invasion, I feel like that wouldn't be too far uh, too far of a stretch. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go in here. One of the coolest locations in the game. Veronica's little hideout thing. Or maybe it was Veronica's? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember if this one was actually like Veronica's or if it's just a character that had a... Uh, like, a uh, biography on her for some reason. Because the thing is, is uh, Veronica's like over on the mainland when you run into her and stuff. Oh no! We found a plot hole! <laughs> no! No! Shame there's no moose to bounce. That's the truth. Carney, my dude, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a fantastic Saturday, my dude. It would be really cool. Honestly, if if Generation Zero ever added animals, even just for, like, you know, like, set dressing or, like, brushing up environments and stuff, I, I wouldn't have any qualms, I don't think. So, final character biography. I don't know if there's an achievement attached to this one. I don't think there is. Uh, for Svant. Svante. Uh, 4680. By 769. Haha. <laughs> 69. Um, where's the 46, though? Forty-six. Actually, right. Isn't this one in uh, Foa? I think I think the Svant one is in Foa. Animals would be too performance heavy. That's actually a very true thought. That is a very true thought. Because <laughs> we're already seeing, like, you know, uh, some pretty dramatic culling in the game in order to keep performance uh, tight and stuff. If you had moose running around and then machines attacking the moose and then the moose AI going berserk and stuff, probably would be pretty heavy. We should have to unlock the Reaper with a first boss fight at FOA too. Oh man, that would be really cool actually. Or even, oh, uh, but no, then that would make the Reaper DLC specific. But yeah, FOA 2 would be perfect. Would be absolutely perfect for that. And it would be a great way to introduce the character to, or the, the player to the Reaper. It would definitely, cause like, that arena. It would be crazy fighting in that arena, actually. There's more than enough cover that you could utilize to avoid the thermal barrack. And then if you want, you could just close the doors on him and just, like, leave. Or wait, no, they're blown off now, so no, I guess you couldn't do that. Uh, yeah, let's not use the slow medkits. Bow chicks the wow wow. Yeah! <laughs> See? Is FOA 2 the arena? It is, yeah. I believe. Pretty sure. 9057. Right, it doesn't even tell you. I'm pretty sure that FOA 2 is the arena. You find the Iron Church thing? Which one? There's quite a few. Imagine having a dog in Generation Zero. Maybe it would be nice. You know? Little pupper companion. I totally, like, avoided this place. I need to place way waypoints. My brain can't do that. <laughs> I just wander off. Wander off in, like, friggin' circles. 
Leave me in an Ikea and you'll never find me again, man. Drink! I want to drink! Uh, do you do streams with people? Not very often. I generally just make solo content. I've always wanted to rope in Wired into a stream. I think that that would be a lot of fun, actually. But... Yeah, I generally just stream solo. 15k pog! Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you very much, too. Thank you very much, Guzzy. Appreciate you, dudes. Uh, is the size of a tank already big enough? Because I think that there should definitely be some quadrupod machine with pop-up missile pods in two modes. Artillery and point blank. That would be crazy. Uh, I definitely feel like a bigger machine than a tank would be an awesome thing to see in the game. It is kind of hard to say if whether or not a wolf is bigger than a tank. I think in mass and stuff, the wolf is bigger than a tank, but definitely it would be crazy to just see like a massive machine of some sort. Maybe as a boss, like a one-time encounter or something. We do hear about that mysterious furnace machine uh, from way back in the Phoenix Rising collectibles, so you never know if that's maybe something on the back burner. A concept on the back burner or something like that. A really well-trained dog, that's the truth. And that was kind of my first thought, but I didn't want to say it because it's grim. <laughs> but it's like, what's the likelihood of the pupper surviving with you in the middle of an apocalypse like this? You know, sometimes with zombie apocalypses, it's like it totally makes sense. The zombies are eating the faces of the people, not the dogs and stuff. But sometimes the dogs turn into zombies in zombie apocalypses too, so you never really know. But definitely, it would have to be like, you know... Like, police-level trained pupper. Now, I think that this folder is just in the back here? No, this is the KVM. We'll double-check on that location. The name of the unknown island near Himfeld. Do you mean the... Do you mean... Do you mean this boil? Oh, there's roads on this guy! That's new! Never noticed! Huh. We might just have to launch ourselves on... On over yonder and see what's going on there. After we pick up this, uh... Last character biography. Wherever it is. Somewhere around here. Tonk on crack and steroids! Sounds terrifying, dude! <laughs> a bigger machine just called Death. Well, it would be a fitting name. Especially if you strapped enough rocket launchers to it. I'm starting to realize with the wolves and the Soviet machines, the more rocket launchers you strap onto the machine, it's it's like exponential how it makes the machine more terrifying. <laughs> Wonder how the machines got the barcodes. Barcodes. So the uh, Phoenix machines themselves, uh, they were military made in the first place and designated for the military. So they were likely built with the barcodes just coded into them uh, for simple ease of access. Trained runner, kind of like the hunter that the Soviet sol Soviet soldier has. But the thing about the hunter is that's Von Ulmer or Phoenix. We don't know. But it's either Von Ulmer or Phoenix, or both of them. Because we haven't, we haven't had any word from him in a long time. And some people are thinking that Phoenix has made a split from Von Ulmer. And I don't think that that's too crazy of a theory. But, still, yes, having having an ally machine, it's it's hard to say. Especially with uh, Veronica getting into, like, recoding the machines. And us hearing about having, like, shutdown codes for the Soviet machines and stuff like that. Um, it really makes you wonder if that will be a direction that we head in at some point here uh, in Generation Zero's future. Oh, Indo, my dude, welcome to the stream. How's it going, man? Hopefully you're having a good Saturday. Quite a few islands now have roads as of this update. Yeah, dude, and it's so spicy. It's so spicy. Because the other thing, too, is that a lot of these roads lead to locations that, like, you wouldn't have been able to tell was a location beforehand. 
uh, like most nameably, the one that uh, like is most nameable is this mountain here. Like in the first place, you look at it and you're like, yeah, that is a mountain with maybe like a weird rounded top or something. But now that you see a road leading up to it and stopping there, it's like, you could tell there's probably some sort of like interior facility in this mountain of some sort. <laughs> put six Gatlings on a wolf. That would be terrifying, actually. If we fought an enemy with, like, two Gatling guns that could both fire at the same time, that would be very, very terrifying. The Dreadnought or the Juggernaut? There we go. I like the name the Juggernaut. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's check um the coordinates for this character biography so we can pick up our last one here. And then get back to that grind. Get back to that stinking grind, man. Uh, let's see here. Second base a few minutes ago. Dude, that's awesome. So you got a second base then. Dude, great, great. Um, how's the stream been? It's been good, dude. We've done a lot of collectible gathering. Uh, you know, grinding and stuff like that and hanging out. It's been really good. Actually, this is the first time in a long time that I've done a longer stream. And... It's been solid, man. Oh, dude, Shannon, coming through with 15 bucks. Thank you so much. 15 for 15K, bro. Have some Tim's or dinner on me. Thanks for the stream and good luck. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. We're going to keep going here. We're going to keep going. 15K is just the start, dude. But thank you so much for your donation, man. Absolutely going to be getting myself a cup of Tim's after this stream. I was like, I'm going to do a stream with no coffee. Maybe not the best idea. It <laughs> maybe wasn't the best idea. Even though, I don't know, my streamer brain is less. I'm definitely noticing slightly less levels of streamer brain here. So that's a, maybe a plus? I don't know if they're co-related. Who knows? Uh, Von Ulmer's biography. <laughs> Call out to me so I can know where you are. All right, what are these coordinates? Negative 769, so let's see. Forty six eighty. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. It's actually further on into the facility than I was thinking. If it's even in here, you know what? It's probably going to turn out that my memory's just doing the dirt, and it's not even in here. <laughs> Y'all remember when we used to be scared shitless when we went into the airfield? Feels like so long ago for some of us. Oh, dude, I remember those days. I remember tiptoeing. Tiptoeing through the farmlands to get to the airfield. And then being like, how do I do this? <laughs> the early days, man. Miss him. You miss him. You miss him to a degree. But then again, it's like the early days are early days for a reason, you know? And, ah, yes, lights. Let's go. Ta-da, nothing there. Oh, you're, you guys. Right, there's a voice tape in here, but maybe there isn't a character biography. I am become... The Reaper? Uh, how's the update? The update's really good, dude. It's really good. Uh, the RNG on Phoenix bases, I think, could be adjusted a little bit made a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more plentiful. But other than that, it's probably one of the biggest updates so far. We got a brand new quest line to follow, um, new mission types to take on, and a bunch of other spicy stuff, too. Oh, it's in one of the tunnels of Berg's Forgotten. Blank, thank you so much. Absolute legend there. Yeah, my brain was refusing to think about that one. I'm making you feel powerless to powerful, but maybe a little too powerful. That is... That is true, especially with, like, the PVG and stuff like that. The power play you get in Generation Zero is unexpected. Especially, like, from the beginning of the game to the end of the game and where you get to. It's definitely unexpected. Um... 
I don't know if the word too powerful is there, though, because the one thing that I always think is that it's like there's this raising bar, and it's like when the character gets more powerful, that gives the opportunity for the machines to get more powerful, which then gives the opportunity for the character to get more powerful, and, you know, back and forth, and, and on we go. And the whole time, then, things get exponentially more, like, crazy and stuff as we go along. Isn't Von Ulmer's, uh in the little tunnel place with the ticks? Yes, dude. Yes. I don't. I. I. I think it's a voice recorder that's in Foa Four. Uh, one of Svant's uh, voice recordings in there. And that's what my brain was maybe stuck on a little bit. Looking for a place where armies of machines spawn. You want a full war. <laughs> Uh, the North Coast, actually. We were really surprised earlier on in the stream uh, at how much, how many machines were up in the North Coast. So that's a really good area. Uh, northern part of the farmlands is always a fun spot. It's always got some spicy fights going on. Um, the the biography might be actually back a little bit. I'm just kind of running in here. Yeah, large-scale machine spawns. It feels like there used to be more of them, and nowadays machine spawns are a little bit more planned. Uh, they're sparse, but they're planned, you know? The voice recordings in Foa 4. There we go. This one tick. He's just like, I don't know, man. It's dark in this cave. Oh, Frederick's profile is in full of four. Okay, okay. Honestly, dudes, it's been so long since I did this collectible grind. I did it on PS4. Did all of them. Uh, on PS4, I was really completionist about this game. But then when I got to PC, I was just like, yeah, I'm too lazy to... <laughs> Way too lazy to do that. <laughs> Go out and collect stuff? Nah, man. I'm gonna make videos. <laughs> Escaped combat? Perfect. Uh, is the character biography around? Yeah. I don't think so. I actually... <laughs> Like, part of my brain is remembering it being down in one of the back tunnels. Uh, very top of the farmlands. Yes, dude. If this game had cross-platform, that would be amazing. There is currently a soft cross-platform. Um, I think if Sony ever turned around and did a solid with Xbox and made crossplay a lot easier, then I think it would be a much more obtainable thing for the game. Though it's understandable why the companies don't, you know. Trying to earn the most monies. Okay, so it's not down this back tunnel. A locked door in a cabin to the east of Borgakulin safe house. Any idea how you open it? Uh, where's Borgakulin again? Because we'll get there right after we're done uh, looking for this. Because I feel like somebody said that earlier in the stream too. Still a completionist on uh, PC as well. Yeah, dude. I find I'm a completionist for everything new. It's like the Dalahast and Alpine Unrest stuff was where I was like, I'm okay. <laughs> I'll pass this time. <laughs> but realistically, you know, now I'm at a point where I kind of want to get my whole save up to 100% because I've had everything else getting up to 100% along the way. And it's like, I've got all these like stragglers left behind. So hopefully. Uh, the thing is, is my, my idea of 100% in this game is kind of hardcore. So what I want to do to get like a full 100%, like Tenebris is 100% essentially, is to get like every single region Reaper ready. So up to like level 20, 20, what is it? 20, 21, 25, 24, up to level 24. And so, yeah, it's, it's kind of an intense approach. 
to the hundred percent, but I think it's gonna wind up with like some fun stuff along the way in terms of like figuring out like what the most optimal grinding route is on the archipelago, even though I whoa doing that, but still um so yes, collect oh hey, uh collectible the bibliography. Glitch through the door with gas bottle explosions. EMP round uh, locations. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll try to try to glitch through the door at um, uh, just near Borga Coolin. Oh, is that big red door? Oh, perfect axolotls. Thank, thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for that. Oh, and Blank was saying it too. My dudes, my dudes. I jinxed it. I jinxed it by saying that I didn't get any streamer brain. <laughs> it's like, why'd I say that? <laughs> Play GZ to destroy stuff. Honestly, the explosions in GZ is like, I came for the giant robots. I stayed for the beautiful explosions. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the motto. The big red door is more this way. Yes. Ah, and there she be! Beautiful. Beautiful! There we go. Another one knocked off the list. Now, Borga Coolin. It's in the marshlands on the coast and the cabin with the road leading to it. Perfect. Yeah, I actually... Man, I haven't even checked out around this area. Perfect. Thank you. This will be great. Uh, do I have... Explodey Booms? Oh, we do still have two Gnome Tick Pods. I'm gonna have to cherish those... <laughs> I'm gonna have to cherish those. Uh, I don't think you ragdoll from grenades, so because part of it is using using the ragdoll. So let's hit up uh the good old industrial rad, pretty much bargain bin explosion area. Archipelago Reaper, yeah, dude. I want to try. I want to try. Have a video. I fought the Reaper on the archipelago. It took me seven years. <laughs> you know, something like that. <laughs> strange how you can power up the door if there isn't a way to get into it. Very, very strange. What secrets it holds. Dudes, I feel like we are on the cusp. I feel like we are on the cusp of some sort of really crazy DLC here. Oh, I even see the road there. Perfect. Yo, even my dude! Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome. Do you have all the instrument emotes? I'm pretty sure I do. What is it? Himfo? Oh, no! Memories of the Forgotten! Yeah, because I still need to... Too lazy to pick up the... Dang it! And it's the saxophone, too. We'll get to those. We'll get to those at some point. Maybe even tomorrow. That would be a good focus. Tomorrow's going to be a fun stream. So tomorrow we're going to do a split stream. Uh, we were going to do it today, but I thought for 15k it would be more fun to just have like a really big chonky stream. But um, tomorrow we're going to do a split stream between Just Cause 4 and uh, Generation Zero. Uh, and so that would be a good way to kind of get something to do for maybe an hour. Used a reaper to spawn a reaper. The terror was real, dude. <laughs> Reperception. I'm just running off. Why do I do this? Why do I do this? All right. We're <laughs> using the waypoints, man. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> splash myself in the face with water or something. Come on. <laughs> Not the saxophone. Yeah, it's gone, dude. It's gone. Saxoless. The only one you've got is the saxophone. Well, there we go. You could join up with me and we'd be like the perfect band, dude. <laughs> I'd cover all the other instruments and you could just be the sax solos for days. Uh, back this way. Haven't been able to play because your Wi-Fi's been down. Oh, dude, Eben, Ripperoni, man. Uh, hopefully you can get that back together. What is going on here? But hopefully you can get that back together. Uh, for yourself, my dude. 
It's a bit of a chonky upload too, or chonky download too. So you'll want to set aside some time. Huh. Log cabin. I really like these log cabins actually. No power. I'll show you power. I got... I have explosive powers. Uh, two. Two to be lucky. Alright. Um, let's... Let's see. I'm trying to... I'm trying to think. Would it be better to prone and, like, sidle up to the door as much as I possibly can? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, the armster. <laughs> Reach for the door handle. No. <laughs> All right. Attempt one. Maybe a failure. I wonder. Hold up. Oh, wait. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Two times the slowness. No. You totally would not be able to place a field radio through that. Ah, sneaky. And this guy will be the method of... Huh? <laughs> Got you, dudes. Who needs, who needs explosive power when you have brain power? <laughs> oh, never mind. Shoot. <laughs> oh, there's a button on the side of the cabin but to power it, but it won't open. Dang it. If only I had to use the brain power, the excess leftover brain power to read my comments. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Check the side of the cabin outside and in the shack. Okay. Checking the shack. Definitely. Yeah, I guess. Ooh. Okay. Oh. System set. I oh, security door hacked. Legend. I'm, I'm reading through the comments real quick. Who was it? Who was it? Oh, okay, there we go. Awesome. It was a bunch of people. Either way, though. Cheers. Thank you very much, my dudes. Okay. Still denied. Still deny. Dang it. Okay. All right. Okay, well, back to the unlimited power. Um, I want to get one, like, right here. How about we do one of these? Trying to find a good angle. There isn't one. This door seems pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie, dudes. Yeah. Last idea, final idea. Is there a bike station at Borgakulin? Let's see if there's a bike station at Borgakulin, dudes. I wonder what's gonna be in the room. I very much wonder, like, mm, clearly something Soviet related. Like, we'll get back there. We'll get back there and look at the location a little bit more. Cause I didn't really look at the soldiers, but then again, we have Soviet soldiers that were, like, disguised as Swedish soldiers. So we can't always trust the Swedish soldiers we see to maybe be Swedish soldiers. All right, let's get up this hill. Bike clipping. Yes, sir. <laughs> all the tricks. Pulling all the tricks out, man. Pretty sure that they blocked off another schematic as well with this cabin. So now we've lost two of the three GRG round schematics. No way! That's what people meant about the EMP. No way. Dang. <laughs> That's such a hassle, man. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. 
if we can get this bike in here because that that might be a save for a lot of players that are missing the EMP round. If we can come through like that, that would be great. Now comes the hard part. Uh, getting the bike up the stairs. It was so easy to get bikes upstairs on console because you can do wheelies. But on PC, I think we're better off shoving the guy so we got to get him up onto the staircase and then lie down uh to get it to like lie down flat all right whoa jumps oh up. Oh. he wants to let him do it let him do it there you go <laughs> okay all right <laughs> no way man <laughs> okay. Alright, we could do this, dudes. We're gonna get the super secret five crown weapon inside of this building. There's a super secret five crown weapon hidden inside of the hidden inside of the locked door inside of the lock cabin. We're gonna hit hidden it. Way to go, okay. <laughs> it's the most useless one the smoke rounds that's so sad that's so sad <laughs> yeah when the smoke rounds came to the grenade launcher I was like finally smoke rounds might have a purpose no <laughs> nope <laughs> mobile cover it's just not it's just not so useful in generation zero unless if it's blocking bullets alright there we go uh, excuse me sir Need to just get this guy. Uh, just, just scooch, scooch on up the stairs, friend. Got it. That's what's up. All right, cool. Imagine if I like reversed off the staircase there. The sadness. All right, now I gotta remember, cause you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta, uh, whoop, hey, there we go. Get the bike moving. Denied, huh? You think so, huh? Gonna fit this door. Gonna fit this bike under the door. Gonna door the, oh man. It's what I thought too. There's like a heavy hitbox on this, on this door. When I was trying to prone up, a, like, against it, I could kind of tell. Alright, well, it's worth a try. Channel or inner Matt Hoffman, we kind of got the bike tire in there. Ah, yes! Go through. Go through. <laughs> How do you go through doors? Same. Um... <laughs> Now the bike's totally disappeared. Now the bike's... T no way, dudes. Inside of this place is like a black hole. An actual black hole. Oh, no, okay, we got it to pop up. Okay, okay. So the bike is in there. The bike is in there somehow. <laughs> I really think that the bike method would be the method of getting in here. If you could just get that bike to, like... Do the thing where you stick your head through the door. <laughs> Someone on Reddit managed to get into there with the bike, if you recall. Oh, okay, already. Dude, there you go. GZ community, reliable, man. <laughs> we all know the tricks. We all know the tricks. <laughs> the bike symbol is gone as well. Yeah, that was just because of proximity. That was just proximity, my dude. <laughs> was the bike, yeah. Gone to the void. <laughs> that bike is off in like bike heaven now or something. <laughs> Just joined. Have you looked at the computer in the shed? Yes. Yes, I did, Oliver. Uh, very, very interesting. Obviously going to be a future mission. I, I, I feel that that's going to be future mission. I, either the uh, start to a mission chain or potentially just a side mission to do along the way uh, where we'll be able to maybe learn more 
because we didn't really look at it. Okay, running back for just two seconds, taking a rad kit, taking a rad We're running back for just two seconds to look at the soldiers. 99% sure that they were Swedish soldiers, but we'll be, we'll be double sure. If the bike can get in there, then we can. That's the motto. <laughs> that is the motto, man. If I can't get in there, the bike can. Literally the GZ motto. Alongside blow shit up. <laughs> I don't think so, Cerno. I don't think so. I think more so that this is something more like our collectible boyos here, where it's not like they forgot to code. It's more so that it slipped into our build, and we probably shouldn't be able to see these things. But we do, and we, and we, get, to, we get to enjoy them early, which is, which is nice. Blowing shit up is fun, and man, it's part of the reason why I respect Avalanche so much. <laughs> it's like something that I only found out like two years into doing this whole thing, but when I found that out, it was like my respect boom, skyrocket. And it is. It is the uh, Swedish soldiers in this place. But the question is, can we trust these guys to be Swedish soldiers? I believe, you know, I believe that we can, actually. But! Oh no, that's the Persadel. Okay. Because I was going to say. I was going to say. But no. I don't know, dudes. Could always. Uh. Come on, Boyle. You can do it! Maybe it can. I don't have any explody things. Uh, I do. I do. What was I thinking? I have the best explody things. Or at least at least the cheapest. It is invincible. It is immune to my mortal tricks. <laughs> Blow up, damn it. That's what I was trying, man. That's what I was trying, but definitely made out of Swedish wood or something, obviously. <laughs> Use the Swedish language on the computer. I think that they are somewhat trustworthy. Yeah, yeah, man. Mm. I don't know, though, because, like, wouldn't a Soviet spy be able to do that, right? You, I, I feel like the Soviet spies, like Red Worm and stuff, would have you know, been able to take maybe some S Swedish technology and utilize it for themselves. But then again, saying that feels like a stretch. So. Swedish buildings can burn forever. Yes. <laughs> also, what's popping up there? What? Vehicle? Ah, it's my bike talking to us from the void, you know. <laughs> I told you guys this was a haunted stream. You didn't believe me. You didn't believe me, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, there's a black car in front of the house. It has no markings. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that house, or that car there. Haven't been able to open the door either. Yeah, that door is definitely, definitely future tinks. That feels like a future update uh either adding new side missions potentially a dlc i really feel like you know a dlc will come this year knock on wood but i really feel like there's going to be some sort of a massive dlc um just with the way everything is ramping up you know plot wise in the game and also the fact that it's been a long time since we've seen a dlc Oh, dude, Jan, no worries, man. Thank you so much for hanging out, and hopefully you have a fantastic rest of your day, dude. What do you guys think about the game altogether? I'm curious, yeah, what do you guys think? If you want, you know, do a out of 10 ranking, or, you know, good, great, bad kind of kind of scale. I want to know what you guys think about the game. You guys know, you, you know what I think about the game. I think if I could put a freaking ring on it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, hey, Seeker Boyles. Penlo. 
<laughs> I think both moved into the same place. Oh, uh, I was hoping that I got a double there, but it wasn't. Trucks need to be made explodable. That, that's very true. Whoa, hey, whoa. One health. That was close. <laughs> Planks in the room. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe a DLC next month. Whoa, that would be spicy. Some sort of hotfix for this update, considering the base assault and base defense have become harder to get, and schematics are blocked off completely still. I am holding out all hope, Indo, that next week, uh, when we bug Pontus and stuff, he'll maybe, he'll maybe have good news on that. Who knows? But I definitely agree with you, my dude. If any, if any update has felt like it needed a hotfix, like needed a hotfix, uh, it's this update right now. Because it's so close. It's, it's so close to having this really awesome feature. And the only thing blocking it is crummy RNG. Nice kickflip, dude. That was good. Oh. Oh, that was it. Oh, okay. Just a short song that time. That's okay. Oh. Burps. Ooh, that was right by the... He was going for a headshot, man. <laughs> Dang aim sway. I know how it is. I know how it is. A giant C677. <laughs> 7 or 8 out of 10. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because it's like, what is a 10 out of 10? You know? What would a 10 out of 10 video game be? You know? Even though I do like, I'm I'm all like super hype and I'm just like, everything's a 10, you're a 9 and you're a 10 and you're a 9.5, but um, <laughs> but you know, what would a 10 be in terms of a video game, right? Would it then wind up being the only video game you play for the rest of your life? Dog food! <laughs> yeah, dude! <laughs> came through with the uh, uh, crouching runner hidden hidden doggo style. <laughs> Bought it four times. My PS4, my PC, and three uh, three gifts so your friends can enjoy it. Dude, that's awesome, Simon. Yes, I'm definitely in that boat. It's probably, probably my most bought game because I bought it for four of my buddies so far. And then I bought it for myself two times. Three times. Because I also have the um, Windows Store version. I just haven't played it. <laughs> I bought it and then was like, well. <laughs> good story and good overall. I respect that. Yeah, Devil Box. Exactly. Well rounded. Round 51. Considering I started with uh, Pong 50 years ago. Dude. Absolute respect. Man. That's one of the coolest things about Generation Zero. We have a very strong uh, over 40 audience, which you don't normally see for video games, you know? We got legends in our community like Gaming Grandma and uh, Gherkin, or Gaming Grandpa now. Or Gr Grandpa, Gr Grandpa Gamer? Something like that. Why am I running back here? I don't need to run back here. Uh, let's, let's see, let's see here. I kind of want to explore the North Coast a little bit more here. Because I haven't taken a chance to really do that, so. Let's go see what's going on, man. 10 out of 10 would be such a good game you would stop everything for it. School, work, other games. It, it would be your life. Yeah, basically, basically. You'd get a divorce, you'd be like, I'm sorry, wife, ex-significant other. I can't be married to you. Freaking Skyrim 2 came out. You don't understand getting a divorce. <laughs> but yeah, let's see things along here. In all honesty, the North Coast is the region that I think we're going to be going to next in terms of our revamps. Uh... I feel like it's going to be like the forest region and the marshlands, and once those both get shored up, then the north coast is going to be 
like following pretty much immediately especially from what we've seen with the uh the new trenches around this area as well as that forest forest has me curious add dirt bikes to the game i wish man i wish that would be such a game changer in terms of like getting around the map and stuff uh, i i think it would be pretty cool it would be a fun way to use accelerant too i think that the benefits outweigh the cons hello friend don't mind me i'm just sneaking up around here yeah we're just gonna sit here for a moment Made it into the room, Poggers! Nice! Using the bike? Whoa, hey. Yeah, I really feel like if we had a kept out of there, we could have gotten in. Is the EMP schematic in there? That's the real question. your top five hard to pick favorite games as they offer different things you've played this for a long time though definitely definitely i feel like i feel like that's kind of the thing in generation zero's strength like i've had a lot of favorite games a lot of games that i've really enjoyed but i just don't think i've ever had a game that i've played as much or as long as um generation zero schematic was in there perfect perfect that's great so then that means at least at some point that schematic will be obtainable for people this wolf caught me slipping man oh it caught me slipping twice he timed that too he was like yo his regen's gonna stop in 25.3 seconds <laughs> oh, oh. you don't see it very often the biggest step. Electrolyte, tungsten, and an EMP round schematic in it. There you go. Electrolyte and tungsten. Interesting. What do you guys think about uh, resources being gatherable in the world like that? I kind of wish that some of them were, like, more farmable. Sometimes. But I really do like the touch. I feel like it adds, like, an interesting piece of set dressing to things. The Four Horsemen of 10 out of 10s. COD, Modern Warfare 3, Minecraft, CSGO, and Subnautica. I respect that. That's a pretty solid, uh, uh quadrupod. We'll call them a quadrupod of 10 out of 10s. <laughs> Played Witcher 3 a lot, too. Hey, my one buddy's super into Witcher 3. Or er, Witcher as a series. Didn't they just announce Witcher 4? I feel like he said that to me. Have I played Subnautica? I actually have not, man. I haven't. Uh, it was always a survival game that really interested me, though. Um, it, it gave me a bit of No Man's Sky vibes, if you know what I'm saying. Just simply in, like, the color palette and stranded on an alien world and stuff like that. But I was always very curious about it. Experimental bike or guitar weapon? Dude, a guitar weapon would be so sick. I would absolutely rock that all the time as my main. And I do use the word rock ironically in that situation. I'm okay with it. <laughs> but I would absolutely rock that. It would be sick. An experimental axe? Right? Right? Come on. <laughs> Can finally get electrolyte without sacrificing time and resources. I'm all for it. And Indo, my dude, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, the grind of Generation Zero. <laughs> it grinds on you. <laughs> I've uh, what I've been really wanting lately is um, automation. I've really been wanting like some sort of automation where you put things into it 
and it just kind of puts things out in Generation Zero. Whether or not that would be like a resistance faction where you're giving them bullets and med medical supplies to go out and, you know, gather you free shit, basically. Um, or something along that line, you know? An actual guitar axe? That would be sweet, right? Because you could totally have... I've seen some crazy designed guitars. You could totally have a guitar that's got, like, a, a huge chunk of steel just running along the edge of it, you know? It would be crazy, man. Gorilla shaped machine double the size of a tank. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Especially having like front heavy arms on it and stuff like that. It would kind of take the harvester thing, but then make it maybe a little bit more manual. Um. Personally, for me, I think that the animal route with machines is a good route. But I do very much enjoy um, the design of the wolf as well, where that's kind of like almost bug inspired, you know, like they, they look kind of beetle shaped. Um, so it's hard to say, it's hard to say, but I definitely, any machine that would be a giant threat would be a real fun experience in this game. And would take the whole component system to it, to another level. Are there Leviathans in No Man's Sky? That is a good question. That is a good question. And there absolutely are not. Definitely the one thing that uh, Subnautica had more than No Man's Sky. Uh, is, and this is as a huge fan of No Man's Sky. I put hundreds of hours into that game. But Subnautica had a little bit more personality. Whereas No Man's Sky was a little bit more of like a blank slate type video game, if you know what I'm saying. So it's probably just those guys fighting off in the distance there. Guitar hero guitar, but every chord pattern is a different spray of shotgun pellets. That would be super cool, dude. That would actually be super cool. Just having like variable shotgun shots. Is it a slug or is it a bird shot? Metal King Kong. Kind of trick. Yo, Axolotls, you take it easy, man. You have a fantastic rest of your evening if you're popping on out. Yeah, I do think that... I do think that my brain is experiencing the dead. Um. So, let's actually... Let's find a cozy spot to post up for a couple minutes uh, as we simmer down the stream. It's a shame we couldn't have gotten one of these freaking... Stinking Phoenix bases, man. Literally, I've grinded for so many hours now. How long was the stream? Three and a half hours. Thirteen hours of grinding, probably more. Brutal. Aaron Jesus is not a homie. I've said it so many times. He's not a homie. <laughs> Let's find a cozy spot to stand. You seem cozy. If I can. Yes. Okay. Come on. Jump! Uh. It'll do. It, it'll do. It'll do. <laughs> Real cozy. <laughs> Shotgun Seeker. Dude! Seekers with guns. Seekers with guns. Seekers with guns. I'm just gonna say it. It's a good idea. Huge worms in No Man's Sky. Yeah, man. Okay, those guys can kind of be terrifying. Especially when you've got your game sounds turned off and you're building and then you turn around and it's like one of them is just descending upon you. <laughs> like a dragon that flies. I would... I think that that would be pretty crazy. Personally, for me, I would love to see a flying uh, machine. I think I would prefer to see it go more in a hover approach as opposed to, like, flapping wings, though. Um, you know, kind of like with the Seekers, how the Seekers are kind of like this giant fan that just floats through the air. I, I think that something along that line uh, would be really awesome as a flying enemy. Oh, hey! Normally those jugs don't have collision. They spilled the coffee on the floor. Oh, no. Oh, can we get... Oh, hey, that is 
not the emote I was going for. There we go. That's that's an interesting shot. We'll take it. We'll take it. Seekers with flamethrowers earlier. There we go. That would be terrifying. Especially if they were like the new um, uh, Soviet flamethrowers and stuff that actually like burn the ground too. That would be intense. Building in any game without sound is the worst idea. <laughs> the enemy will have the element of surprise. It's it's a bad habit of mine in No Man's Sky. It's like I just I turn off all the game sounds and then I blast music, and then I turn around and it, I get terrified by probably too many things in that game. It's not a horror game, but to me it is. I <laughs> Aren't we getting a 194S? Refresh me on that, Rex. Rex. What's a 194S? Doesn't sound like a gun, is it? I wish there was a gun RC car. Explosive RC car and EMP RC, RC car. Uh, and a camera RC car. Dude! I highly agree. I think RC cars are super fun to mess around with in uh, video games when you, like, have weaponized ones and stuff and you take them off and then you can, like, scoot them off to a, a machine or something, hide and cover, and then scoot off your RC car to kind of send, like, a guided bomb towards them. I very much enjoy the idea. Oh, 1940s Jeep. Okay, there we go. With an M2 Browning on the back. If only. If only, man. I would love it. Got a couple burps here, my dudes. Jeez. Jeez, man, Dr. Pepper. Stalker Anomaly. Uh, play Stalker Anomaly if you get the chance. Gives the same creepy European shooter vibes as GZ. Actually, uh, just throughout winter back there, I had the pleasure of playing through uh, the Stalker games for the first time. I was blown away, dudes. I was blown away. I was so sucked into uh, Shadow of Chernobyl. I played that game for like 30 hours and then I got this like terrible ending and I, I was gutted. I was so gutted by the ending. <laughs> but yeah, man, I very much, I, I enjoy Stalker. If you play without sound and it has enemies, that's very true. Sometimes even without enemies, man, I, I swear to God. Minecraft, Minecraft, you turn around and there's one of those dogs, you've tamed it, but it's still there and you're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Did my streamer brain kick in? Oh no. <laughs> Blast Seeker uses a hover flame to cook you. What? Terrifying. Get out of here, stalker. <laughs> there we go. Gamma, my dude. A new stalker is supposed to be hitting the streets soon, too. Yeah, man. I am super stoked. Stalker 3, I think. Is what it's going as. Is it Stalker 3 or does it have another subtitle? I can't remember, but yes, man. Oh, I'm super stoked on that. Also, this other game, too. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's called uh, Road to Vo Vostok, and it looks very interesting. It's it's super early on. Uh, just a couple uh, dev diaries so far. But Road to Vostok, it looks very, very good. Heart of Chernobyl. Yeah, oh, that's what it's going to be. Heart of Chernobyl. Yes, there we go. Minecraft does has, have enemies, though. That's that's very true. That's very true. But not when you place down a million trillion torches. <laughs> GZ Max. That would be pretty crazy. So you mean like a pilotable mech? The thing that's cool is the Apex engine does vehicles like that very, very good. So you never know, man. Oh, is it Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl? There we go. Big Tarkov vibes. Same, dude. Same. Even though I didn't play Tarkov, but visually. Visually and uh, kind of gameplay motif. Out of all games, you like Ghost Recon. Oh, dude. Nice. Ghost Recon's awesome. Classic series, too. How much 762 ammo you have? I'm going to say over 20,000. See if I'm right on that. The Matryoshka reports. Yeah, dude. Like 20,000. There we go. Nice, dude. Doing good on the AP rounds. 
Yeah, dudes, I don't know. Uh, maybe um, when Stalker Heart of Chernobyl drops, we can maybe play that. Could maybe give that a shot on my channel here. Uh, with Road to Vostok, I'm going to wait until I see a little bit more from the game uh, before I jump on any sort of hype train. Because you never know, you never know with those early on games in development from indie developers. You never know if they'll pan out. Knock on wood, though. <laughs> Tarky is life. I've, that's part of why I didn't play it, because all of my buddies that, like, you know, we have really similar game tastes, they were like, man, Tarkov is life. And I was like, I have Generation Zero. I have... I have a girlfriend, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> of a lady with robotic legs and a hunter pet yeah dude oh man machine body modification what do you guys think about that for me it's probably one of the most hype things I think that we've seen in generation zero so far it's totally not a route that I thought generation zero was going to go down but it's a route of sci-fi that man I would love to see Imagine us jumping over battlefields and, like, sprinting like crazy and stuff like that while fighting huge hordes of machines, you know? Might be a fever dream, but I I think it would be crazy. Give robot leg, yeah, man. <laughs> I want it, dude. I want it. Can we get a hundred? Whoa, we did. Holy heck. Thank you so much, my dudes. A hundred likes. It might be my first live stream with a hundred likes. That's crazy. You guys are legends. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Give the cybernetics. That's what I'm saying, man. Imagine if you could, like, upgrade your eyes so that that way you could swap between vision modes. So good. So good, man. You would finally be able to find that one machine that's aggroed on you outside of the bunker when you're, like, down on the inside. It would be so cool. And then the opportunities for movement movement mechanics and stuff like that, I really think that it would be a crazy route for Generation Zero to take. Oh, you dudes are legends. Thank you so much. Swimming would help with resource gathering. Do you think so? How would swimming help with resource gathering, Ionic? Not saying that it would. I just don't see how swimming would therefore mean resources. Not that I'm against swimming. Not that I'm against swimming. I'm the guy that really wants boats. So swimming is a, a good runner-up to boats. <laughs> what if machines could fuse? That would be crazy, Devil Box. I actually, back in uh, the early days of Phoenix Rising, I had this idea for a junk bot that would basically just be, like, destroyed portions of the machines you fight just fused together into this, like, ungodly kind of thing that you would fight. Um, I don't know if that ever panned out to a video or not, though. Sunken Landers. Fair, Necrolock. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking of that. That's very true. Gives the cyberpunk vibes. Very much so. Very much so. It was, yeah, it's it literally, it, it took cyberpunk, not even just the game, but the genre, and added a bit of a cyberpunk genre into Generation Zero, which is super cool. Does that mean it's left its area on the mountain now? That's the hard thing, uh, Indo, is that the hunter that we find on that hill is stationary. It's stuck there. So it can't be that hunter. So it's got to be a different hunter that's hanging out with Tatiana now. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. The question is, is, you know, is Phoenix hanging out with Tatiana for his own purpose, for his own benefit, or is he hanging out with Tatiana because he actually, you know, is feeling some sort of human emotions or something like that? Personally, I'm, I'm more towards the end of, uh, you know, him using Tatiana, either for information or just for understanding and evolution, you know? Which was a very strong v vibe from uh, Phoenix Rising. Think the only problem with swimming is new players are probs gonna try to go and get to forest region straight away and uh, go against stuff like a Phoenix tank with a 1C Muller. 
But Indo, with my best start guides, day one, like, first hour players can go off and get themselves, like, four crown weapons and stuff like that. I don't think that the swimming, in terms of the gameplay world, I don't think it would really break things that much. Though, it could potentially be a very boring way of getting from point A to point B uh, from the beginning of the game. But I still don't think, like, because Generation Zero's gameplay relies so much on you going to these bunkers and clearing out the command board and then progressing as you go through the plot and stuff that I just couldn't see swimming breaking that process entirely. Phoenix wants to survive, and she knows Bolshakov best, so I think that's why he's keeping her close. And that is a thing, right? Maybe he's just trying to learn about Bolshakov without straight up, like, interrogating the chick. It is still more of an empathetic vibe from Von Ulmer, but... Yeah, I definitely, I feel like there's something ne uh, nefarious in behind him hanging out with Tatiana so much. Observation human. Hmm, maybe. Building our own bunkers, that needs to be a thing. That would be so awesome, dude. That would be so awesome. I would love to build up a bunker. Be able to designate, like, you know, some, like, um, civvy areas, and that way you could maybe ha house resistance fighters at a bunker that you build up. Would be really, really cool, dude. Take a boat to the four-star shotgun and four-star PVG, and that would be it. That's true, dude. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> stamina could balance swimming. Absolutely. You run out of stamina and you wind up drowning. Bird spy. It would work like a seeker, but it would be stealthy. That would be very interesting. That would also be crazy. Like, you're out and you're just kind of wandering about. You hear something go like... Like a, a blast of air go by or something like that. And all of a sudden you get spotted because this bird, like, or bird machine flew by and tagged you for the other machines to come to you or something. You never know, dude. I really think that Generation Zero is this, like, you know, blank slate in terms of machine enemies. And there is a huge variety of machine enemies we could see come to the game. Join you in a, a Reaper takedown, Devil Box, for sure. What platform do you play on? If you play on PC, then yeah. Oh yeah, no worries, Electric. Yeah, we should we should probably wrap up. We've gone ten minutes over, and my brain is starting to starting to turn to mush here. Um, but my dudes, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that came through to hang out. Uh, thank you, Shannon, for uh, the the dono as well. Uh, and my dudes, thank you for over a hundred likes on a live stream. Absolutely mental. You guys are the absolute best. Um, but, my dudes, we're at it again tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a split stream. Generation Zero into Just Cause 4. And we're gonna be blowing things up in a massive way. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, but for now, my dudes, stay awesome. And I will catch you all in the next one. Until then.